Hey, uh, folks, Quill18 here, and welcome, welcome, welcome to our Saturday live stream! And we're back with some more RimWorld, baby! I'm super excited to be playing some more RimWorld. Uh, this run has been so entertaining, so fun, uh, and I'm especially happy to have the uh, that Twitch chat integration mod where people get... Are my eyes, like, being green screen? Or am I just dreaming here? Hold on, I can't see it because I gotta move it over here. No, I guess we're okay. All right. <laughs> For some reason, something about the glasses and things like that was making me think that the eyes weren't showing up correctly, but we seem to be okay. Glasses kind of are. Maybe that's what it is. Let's not worry about it too much. Probably okay, right? <laughs> Keep adjusting my, my lighting for every stream, hoping to get, like, just the right kind of thing, uh, if at all possible. <laughs> Thanks for the bits for even lot good. Also, thank you very much for five more gift subs from you. Thank you. That brings your total up to 105 gift subs. Thank you for supporting the channel. That is really wonderful. Let's see how long it takes before my name is picked for a random animal that gets hunted. Yeah, so uh, we are running a mod. All you have to do is be uh, be in chat. I think you actually have to like say something in chat um, from time to time and uh, your name will be picked for things. I actually kind of wish that non-tamed animals wouldn't get named. In in the options, it just there's a check mark for naming tamed animals, um, but I think it's doing all animals. So that's a little bit annoying because um, it actually just makes it a little annoying to like find the animal, sorry, in the wildlife tab over here, because it, it sorts them alphabetically by name as opposed to species, uh, which makes it a little harder to designate things, but we'll see. Uh, I've designated Moobot, Fotinu Decay, the Great Bound Hunter, Archmail, Zervan Eunuch, Zynthia, and Essentia Modica to be hunted. We got some mufflows over here. Um, they do have a 10% chance of snapping, but it, it is modified, I guess, by like their hunting skills. So hopefully Ape Release doesn't get aggroed on. Although maybe we should do a drafted hunt. When did that start? That wasn't there a second ago. You know what? I'm just gonna move the camera down. There. You guys ain't seen nothing. <laughs> I'll make an interesting burger. <laughs> uh, hey, Quill. I bought both RimWorld and Pathfinder Keymaker for watching you on YouTube. Excellent, Jeep man. I'm hoping that uh, we can get more uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker. I've had to do a lot of recording this week, plus some technical things. My hard drive, one of my hard drives, um, every time I'd reboot my computer was giving me an error that it was like on its last legs. So yesterday I had to uh, to do some little swappy, yesterday, the day before? I don't remember. Anyway, I had to do some little swappy do shuffle. I pulled one of the other drives out, put a new one in, cloned the drive, took the old bad one out, put the old drive back in, then Windows wouldn't boot. I'm like, what? Why are you booting? What the hell? And then like a few apps like um, Adobe Cloud recognized this as a new computer all of a sudden. So I had to deauthorize the old one, do the new one. I hate dealing with technical stuff. Actually, I think like for everything, I'm gonna move my head over here because it'll be better for some of the pop-ups. Uh, or no, for RimWorld, did we want it a little bit more centered? I don't know, we'll put it there. Um, for everything I love to do on computers, I think I actually hate computers. You know what I mean? Is anyone else like that? I have one HDD, all SSDs and M2 things. Yeah, I have um, I have two SSDs, one M2 drive, um, and then four physical hard drives. I have a lot of drives because I do a lot of like, there's a lot of storage. I mean, I have a million games installed simultaneously and then there's like all the videos and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of drives and they're always full all the time. It's so annoying. I'm constantly having to wrestle with hard drive space. La 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 la. Anyway, technology is only great when it works. Yeah, that's a good point, uh, Animal Carrot. Let's quickly read some resubs as the hype train starts. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and dive into this game because I'm super excited by this let's play that we've got going on. Oh, as a reminder as well, our schedule is shifting a little next week. Monday is gonna be Kerbal, Kerbal Moon Days. Mon Monday is gonna be Kerbal uh, because we finished our current uh, session of Football Manager. Wednesday is going to be the start of a uh, Galactic Civilization 4 let's play. Galsiv 4 comes out on Tuesday, um, and while the beta is available for various things, there's various embargoes and stuff like that. Uh, so there's going to be a Galsiv 4 a YouTube Let's Play going live on Tuesday, and Wednesday we'll be starting a different campaign of Galsiv 4 live stream. It's Wednesday will be a sponsored stream for Surviving Mars, which is one of those games. Thanks, Adiz! 
I'll read the message in just a sec here. Um, Surviving Mars is one of those games that I play all the time by myself. I love it so much. Uh, so it's pretty easy to say yes when uh, Paradox uh, wants to do a sponsored stream for some new content, including, say it with me, monorails. And then next Saturday will be more RimWorld. So we're going to have a super busy week this week because we're going to have four streams instead of normal three. And some things have been moved around. Um, but yeah, monorails, monorail, 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 monorail. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't looked at Terraformers yet. There's, um, what's the other thing I got to play? Is it called like Planet Crafters or something? Uh, there's, there's so many things I have to play. Yeah, Planet Crafter. And also, you know, I gotta make sure I get some more Pathfinder Kingmaker recorded. Everything's hard. Uh, let's read the resubs as well as the whiskey and chocolate contribution that just came in from Adiz. Thank you very much, Adiz. Uh, congrats to Reds. What a home race. Let's hope the Mercs will perform better tomorrow. Yeah, F1 race. Every, like, the F1 sprint format. Every time I think about the sprint format in F1, I think, oh, this is stupid. It's stupid. Why would they do that? And so far, every sprint we sprint race weekend has been very exciting, very fun, including today. Um, so thanks to these, and yeah, hopefully tomorrow we get a great race. We got resubs from Snavia at 75 months from Snavia. Our Genesis is resub for 60 months. DRM always fun too. Yeah, 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 with the, the games and the hard drive switch. Uh, Blazing Pyro gives him some subs as well. Oh, I missed that. Because for Evil Not give, Good gives did some subs, but Blazing Pyro did as well. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Ancient Cultures resub for 30 months. Bale Vala is here for 52 months. Vortirian at 44 months. Uh, Crispy Goth gave some give subs as well. Whoa! And Hasten as well. Oh my god, there was a ton of give subs today from lots of different people. Thank you so much for helping to support the channel and making people feel more included and stuff. That's awesome. Fletcher Reed is resub for 72 months. Despish at six months. Remembering that Prime button. Remember, if you got Twitch Prime, Amazon Prime, free sub every month, click that button. Very handy. Flamebeard, 97 months. Oh, that is a long time. Wow, 97 months from Flamebeard. IT Pindon at 53 months. Duravas at a nice, even at 90 months. 9-0, 90 months. Rarely get a chance to join the stream, but got to drop by to keep hitting that button here. Thanks for, keep on rocking. Uh, thank you very much, Darava. Thank you. Yeah, long time viewer here. Indecisive at 40 months. Tinker Taylor at 18 months. Oh, 18. Silent the Hunter, 15 months. Cool Man Nachos gave some gift subs as well. Gave one to Raid Runner, 24 months there for Raid Runner. Wow. Animal Akari at 30 months. Ovid Cat at 46 months. Historian at 23 months. Bunisher has resubbed for 94 months all in a row. Who said, My grandfather would have been 94 today if he wasn't born on a different day. Gary the Cormorant at 31 months. MJ at 72 months. Skaverat also gifted some gifts. Of, oh, that was 10 days ago. Never mind. But thank you very much, Skaverat, nonetheless. And just now we've got Signa. Signa GT. Thank you very much for the contribution to Whiskey and Chocolate Fun. My husband gave me a kid-free weekend for Christmas. Totally playing RimWorld and watching the stream. Had to share the love. Oh, awesome. Always nice when you can take a break from everyday life and just, you know, just chill and play some games and do that. You came in the auto chat, uh, auto name chat mod right now. Yeah. So right now the people in RimWorld are going to be named automatically as long as you're in the chat, as long as you're participating in the chat. Uh, but sin is like Cena. Oh, Cena, Cena. Okay. Thank you very much. Cena GT. Boom. All right. We're going to pause, leave it on speed one for a tick here. We got a little thing. We got Plain Coast Hills just visiting. Hey, Plain Coast Hills, nice to see ya. Um, so last episode, we had a little bit of drama llama. We had two different groups come to do some interning work with us. One of those missions where like, oh, keep have you know four people at your base, they'll work for you and everything, and maybe they'll wanna join you. We did have a group of, I think four people, three or four people join, everything went great. None of them joined permanently afterwards, but that's okay. We had another group of seven people join, and then they turned on us, it was a trick. They turn on us and hence, lots of blood all over the place. I think we got away without too many permanent injuries. We did have someone lose a leg. I can't remember if it was in that or not. Um, where are the commands to cycle? Yeah, right over here. Private Paula, unfortunately, um, lost a leg. I can't remember if it was in that conflict or something else. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Says my name wrong all the time. Joe! Okay. I'm just gonna call you J. Just just one letter. 
No, we got too many J's. I have a short overview of your colony. Right, so if you're new here, so our theme is that we are representatives of the company, and we are here to establish a mining base. Um, we've laid, we've arrived here some time ago, and for some reason we haven't gotten a single communication back from the home office yet, but still, we are currently diligently working on behalf of the company to try to make their things get done over here, do some mining, and do what we can. We've recently started to dig into the mountains, and yes, people will be asking, bugs are turned off. No insect infestation, so we don't have to worry about that over here. Mostly, they don't find them fun, and also, it would make this particular style of gameplay that we're aiming for kind of difficult. Um... We are running a fluid ideology to represent that. Right now, it doesn't have much going on, but we're going to hopefully, over time, start to tweak it and become a little bit of a cargo cult-ish kind of thing as we try to think up of different ways to please the company, which is otherwise ignoring us. So we will see. Um, Planet Red Dwarf. <laughs> oh, that's right. There was an infection after combat. We have to cut off Private Paula's leg. That's right. I forgot about that. Mechs are turned on, so we might get, like, mechs that land randomly in our base or just uh, generally become kind of a pain in the ass. Hey, why me? Thank you very much. My friend keeps saying, cheer up, mate. It could be worse. You could be stuck underground in a hole full of water. I know he means well. <laughs> Can't remember, cool. Do we know if where is the danger zone? No, you know what? I don't think we've gotten a single pop-up about a danger zone yet. And I don't see one at a glance. Now it's possible in our digging here, we'll find something. There might even be some empty space, you know, in one of these places. Like, you know, that, that can absolutely happen. This might not be solid, we have no idea. There's also an election that's starting off. Um, Three and Jlas here are running for mayor. We'll see how that works out. Yeah, I don't know if there's always guaranteed to be a danger zone or what. Um, we've got some initial bedrooms set up. We're also working on our hygiene mod. Oh, right before the stream started, I just set everyone's clean priority to one. I'm like, you know what? Let's clean up all this blood around here. Plus, there's a couple of patches of vomit that is pretty upset. Mm -hmm. My mountain run danger zone deep inside the mountain. Trash says they think it's guaranteed. Okay. Yeah, pr um, Private Paula still has the wrong ideology. And she's 100% certain that she's staying as a as a hippy dippy. Sometimes that's what happens, right? In fact, that's actually more likely to happen. When you argue with someone and sort of prove them wrong, they're actually more likely to become stronger in their beliefs than they were before. And some of you are gonna say, no, that's not true. And become more convinced that it's not true. <laughs> Yeah, we've tried a lot of times. We've used the direct button. We've used the ritual. I mean, we'll still try because we want to run the uh, conversion ritual as often as possible so we can get more ideology points. Jesus. Oh, we got a trick stream already. Boba, thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you know what? And I think sushi is such a perfect treat for the stream too. Because it's really easy to just pop one in your mouth. You know, it's not too messy. It's great. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Ooh. Have you used your moral guidance to reduce belief? J I mean, we've got J with the convert. Is there another option? I don't know. She did an intentional mountain run. Last one I did was just random map that I had nowhere to build on. Oh, yeah. No, um, um, dedicated mountain runs are great. Oh, man, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'll never, no, it's, it's so loud and it's, I'm not used to the sound and you know, it doesn't happen like regularly, right? It's, it's on a timer. It can only, it literally can only happen once per stream and I haven't had it turned off all of last week as well. So it's been a while. <laughs> Sushi would be especially bad to have less sitting at your door. Well, not so much if it's cold though, right? <clears throat> Trying for it. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Because um, the thing is, like, there's all sorts of, of um, cognition biases and things that all humans are, like, vulnerable to all the time. It's just, it, it, and it does help a little bit if you're aware of them, because sometimes you can spot them happening in yourself. But it sort of makes sense with the belief thing, right? Because especially if, like, you have a belief that's, you know, tied into your overall lifestyle and worldview, whether we're talking about religious or political or economic or any or anything like that, right? Um, where a... <laughs> Gene C! 
<laughs> I love the fact that we've got dialogue. Canada will never unthaw. <laughs> never fully unthaws from Gene C in the chat. I love it. And it's a very smart dog. Um, and so, like, even if you're confronted with something that would cause you to have to change that and have a big impact on your life, um, maybe your your social circles, all sorts of things, right? You, you, you naturally want to fight against that. And if that means actually sort of becoming illogical about it, then you will do it, which then makes it that much more impossible to ever be convinced through, you know, logical arguments and things like that, because you've just sort of abandoned that step because of, of whatever. Um, and it can lead you deeper and deeper into like more fringe beliefs, more conspiracy beliefs, more whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, mining PR bail. Thank you very much. Did you hear about the coal mining startup that used child labor? Thankfully, they caught it early. So it was only a minor, minor, minor issue. A minor, minor, minor issue. It's too bad that it's just spelt slightly differently. Otherwise, that would be a great sort of like Buffalo, 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 Buffalo thing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring the clean back down to three for everyone. And I think actually at a four for Borbera is what we had it. Yeah, so that you research first. Borbera is going to be back mostly on researching, which is great, but the base is looking a little bit better. And theoretically, Aprilis is going to start hunting relatively soon. But yeah, we have a decent amount of meals made, which is nice. I feel like the art for the fine meals changed a little. I don't know if it's when they made the ability to have like vegetarian meals and, and carnivore meals. Um... But I feel like the fine meal art changed a little bit. Maybe I'm wrong. <clears throat> I used to believe that people were fundamentally good. Then I started reading the YouTube comments. Yeah. Yeah. There's, um, like, I, 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 I watch plenty of different YouTube stuff. I watch some Let's Players. I watch a lot of reactors these days. You know, all kinds of things. And I love reading comments because it's quite interesting. You usually get your insight about something and something like that. And one thing I've noticed is that no matter what, the longer a series goes on, the more toxic the comments get. It's just, it's always the same. And I, I don't know why that is. You know, someone's like, uh, like I'm watching a, a Fallout uh, Let's Play blind, right? You know, someone's never played before. They're playing this blind Fallout Let's Play. And at first, everyone's really encouraged. They love the fact that someone's going in blind, doesn't really know it, anything. And then you like, you read the comments again, like a few episodes later. And people are just so salty. Like, I can't believe you missed this thing that's on this top shelf somewhere. Wherever, wherever you missed the skill book. It, oh my God, people settle down. Well, you didn't make the absolute optimal decision in this, in this conversation, which I'm happy about because, you know, one of the things is it's like really easy to fall into the optimal trap in role playing games where you want to, you know, you want the, the best proper outcome everywhere. And then um, there's all kinds of alternate outcomes that you don't ever get to see. And so seeing someone like maybe come from a role playing point of view or um, not seeing the implications of what their button press is going to do, hit that button, then you get to see a completely different outcome. And that's fun. But man, people get cranky. Northern Lions Isaac series comments. Oh yeah, if you read the comments on uh, Northern Lions like Isaac Binding of Isaac uh, play videos, you'd think he was the worst Binding of Isaac player in the universe based on what you see in the comments. And it's like, wait, hold on, that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> what? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Twitter makes YouTube comments seem. Well, part of it is because there's YouTube doesn't have. It's garbage for conversations. Conversations don't happen on YouTube. It's just people screaming into the void. Because even if you reply to a comment, most usually people don't see it. So you don't you don't have that opportunity. It's really crummy for that. And so um, and with Twitch or even like Twitter or things like that, but like Twitch, we get a little bit more of a live conversation about it. So you can respond. It humanizes things just a little bit more. So despite the fact that Twitch has like this reputation for having a a, a toxic chat, which on, admittedly on a lot of channels that is the case. Um, but, you know, we have some great moderators here that have set a great tone for the channel. Um, you know, it is it is generally better. Mm -hmm. YouTube commenters want to watch people to exactly recreate the unplay through. Yeah. And like, wh wh why? That, that to me, that's super boring. <clears throat> anyway, let's talk about our plans for, for mining here. Um, 
We have opened up this area here uh, for mining. So we've got our extra workstation space and now our other storage depot over here because the storage is starting to fill up. It's nowhere near full yet, but we're going to get that. We've, we've opened it up to enable mining at this point. So this will start to fill in. I'm going to plan another room uh, block of bedrooms over here. I kind of like the mirrored pattern. So there's still going to be L-shaped bedrooms like over here, but I'm kind of happy to set up this kind of block. And again, I'm trying to avoid like excessively long straight corridors and putting in these extra kinks and things, even though Hey, that's my kink. Uh, even though it's gonna be less space efficient, right? It'd be much better to have a full grid based thing, but I'm trying to avoid it. And arguably, maybe there's some defensive benefits to it. Not really. Again, if we want to make a really strong defensive thing, uh, people have pointed out that a three wide hallway is great because then you can you can use various cover mechaniz mechanisms in case there's invasions inside and stuff. And it's like, yep, that's true, but I'm gonna go with two wide anyway. Um, I mean, two double wide hallways does save a little bit more space compared to triple wide, but maybe like our, our opening entrance. And actually there's still time for that. We could still triple wide or even do different things with the, the original entrance way over here. Um, we could actually have a row of turrets in here. I was thinking of putting some turrets at the front door in addition to over here. We do have our turret tech. Um, I'm trying to delay building it for as long as possible um, because I've, there's other things I want to build. But it's the classic, like, it's even you see this thing in 4X games, right? It's like, okay, at some point in Civ or Stellaris or anything you're thinking of, right? At some point, we're going to get attacked and we're going to need a military. But if we build the military too early, that's a bunch of resources we invested in troops as opposed to things that boost our research or productivity. So you want to delay building your military for as long as possible, but no longer. The, the trick is knowing exactly when. <laughs> Dota. I think, I think the Dota chat is a little bit better than the League chat, but admittedly, I haven't played either in a long time. <laughs> It's one of the reasons, and I hate that it's not really uh, supported anymore by Blizzard, because apparently that's what Blizzard does, but it's one of the reasons I actually really like Heroes of the Storm a lot. It was generally less toxic as a result of um, some of the mechanics, especially in like the random queue part. Hey, we're being raided! They're attacking immediately. Looks like we got two groups both in the south. There were two arrows. Maybe they, I mean, the arrows were quite tight together, but there were two. Maybe it was like this and that. Because I don't see anything else. Okay, at least we're, we're not doing sappers or anything yet, so that's good. Let's get our peeps out here. And uh, let's hope our traps, ooh, that's a little bit annoying. I was building this door over here, so they're going to be able to bypass some things. Are you kidding me? You're going to break my sewage outlets? And you're grenading my pipes? <gasps> you got a wiggler. Nah, they're, they're just gonna bleed to death. Yeah, they have this one has proper frag grenades. You got a revolver and a shotgun. All right. I don't think they're gonna nuke the walls. Yeah, they're gonna flee. Okay. Oh, Jay doesn't have a weapon. This person here? What's their deal? Pyromaniac Slowpoke. I type pipeline activist. Nice. Let's maybe attempt to kidnap you. Oh! It's the animal bed. Okay, I'm like, what? No, no one's assigned to this. Oops. It's a little weird. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna sneeze. <coughs> For the bingo square. If you heal them and release them, don't you get good? Yeah, but it tends to drift to the natural point regardless. <clears throat> so I'm not sure that it's gonna make a difference. I think. Yeah, they're just they're just gonna get away, so it doesn't actually matter. Barbara, I'm gonna get you to go ahead and. You know what? They're. What's their health? Four hours. They're probably just going to die. Tell you what, we'll strip and then capture them. They'll be unhappy because they're nude, and it might make it easier to break, break their religion anyway. Let's do a high-priority haul over here. Oh, um, we want to... Who's this? Zynthia? 
Yeah, we're going to make sure we do a strip. And who else is over here? Bitter old guy. We're going to strip you as well before we haul you because we can recycle some clothes. And Sutsian, you're going to go in tent. Okay. I should maybe keep some, maybe I should have the hospital closer to these. I'm thinking about making this the hospital and making this the communal bathroom. I mean, I know we've got one here, but I might make it a little bit bigger. The cremator is turned on. Yep. Still have the strip. I'm sure they got hauled over here. I'm hoping they still get stripped first, but it doesn't really matter. What's thinking about batteries over here as well, which I could still do. This is a big space. We'd still have a bit of a battery place and have the hospital. So we will see. The stripping people for capture count as war crimes? <laughs> uh, I don't think so, but it is interesting. Well, with the light off, you know, I was having it off so that they'd be a bit more miserable and might break. But it does make the doctoring a little harder. I don't know. So let's see if we can convert. How certain are you in your religion? 88%. Shall we see spiritualism? Man, I don't think we've seen one of these before. Think slavery is honorable. Well, you're going to love our internship program. Let me tell you. Wow. Hospital backup power, power smart, smart. It does just make a little bit of sense. Although the batteries are also fairly likely to explode. And a hospital next to things that can explode doesn't sound so smart. Oh, yeah. These things don't have plumbing anymore. Or sewage anymore. God damn it. Mm. Jay, who's our constructor, I'm going to get you to come over here and prioritize working on this. Oh, and then I guess the pipes. <laughs> Group of travelers passing by. Who do we have here? We have uh, Manamori and Don't Care Bear. Oh, we're pretty much just going to ignore you. <clears throat> I can build a wall over the pipes, which will protect them somewhat. And I suppose I can just box this in. Good idea to block the road, don't think I've sound speed? Not that I know of. Plus, it, the road's a dead end over here, so I don't know. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Look change desire. Oh, Peter Endwhistle wishes to change her looks! We need a styling station. Do we have one? Is it under her? Might be a different category. Oh, I can search. There it is. I'm going to put the styling station. We'll make it out of steel. I'm going to put it in the same room as our... This is going to be our um, tailoring room. That sort of makes sense to me. Now, we'll need to build it, although... Okay, there. Jay, I'm going to get you to prioritize working these, please. The medical emergency is just because Tsutsian is low on blood. And has an infection in the leg. I wonder if they still count as being guilty. Yep. It's whiskey and chocolate. Wait, 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 wait. We're going to uh, we're going to release you. Elm, thank you. I had a hop on there for a hot second. Here's to the. If I get a bigger hard drive, I won't run out of space anymore. Fun. Thank you very much, Elm. <sighs> Practice medicine. I mean, we could remove their leg, but I mean, maybe they'll actually be fine. <clears throat> yeah, I think they got stripped first. Yeah. Let me reset you. You know what? You'll probably be fine. You're clearly getting at bed rest. Solar flare. No power. How bad is that? Well, it's not great for the freezer. Hey, we got a level of medical as well. That's handy. Yeah, it's not going to be great for the freezer. <clears throat> Minus one. Still frozen right now. Zero. Still going to be fridged for a bit. Double walls are going to help. Jay, what are you up to? Oh, cargo pods. Um, cargo pods. Silver? 
Yeah, all silver. I'll just put a... Um, I don't know if... Uh, someone might come and take it. I don't know if we need to haul urgently. I think I'll just do a normal thing. The dogs will get to it, probably. No, no, come here. There we go. Sewage is working again. Hooray, everyone. So th I wonder if there's other sewage tech we can let later on. Because right now, I think the only thing I can do is just dump the sewage. Pennies from heaven. <laughs> I think the sewage outlet is the only thing I can do currently. <clears throat> oh. oh, shit. Thank you. You see, that's why I was going to go and check the toilets to make sure they were, they were no longer blinking red. There it is. Confirm. Yeah, and this one's not working because it doesn't have a pipe yet. That's okay. Solar flare is ending. That's good. A little bit of fire over here. I think I should temporarily home zone this. I'm just going to wake up everyone except Borbra. <clears throat> Treatment and septic tank. Okay. So we'll just have to work up to the tech. Right now, we're working on finishing the geothermal tech, which may not be required. I think our power generation is pretty good right now. I'm not even bothering building these solar panels currently. I love it when there's a lightning strike. You actually... There, you see? You actually get some solar power out of it. Ah! Hitting our plants? Now, that's just rude. These two rooms over here, which currently have not connected, so it's not being mined, these are going to be hydroponics. And I'm going to have a path here that's going to lead into our freezer. But I mean, we've got enough room here, especially once we dismantle the old animal pen. We can do plenty of growing outside. But I feel like hydroponics are going to be kind of properly on brand. I don't think we have the hydroponics tech yet. So it's not something we have to rush. But I think it's going to be good to have. Okay, at least now it's raining. So if there's more thunder strikes, we're going to be okay. I'm just going to remove that. <clears throat> Does the fungus use hydroponics? Oh, right, because when we become undergrounders, right? Yeah, I actually don't know how that works. Let's check on her infection. Suitsian? How you doing? Uh, what do I want? Health. Infection is major. Yeah, no, the immune key's ahead. So she's going to be fine. But hopefully with all the pain and miserableness... No, her certainty's gone up. I think it used to be 88. She's become more certain of her religion. Nutrifungus only uses fungus soil. Ooh, I gotta lower my own volume over here. I didn't realize I had it so high. Wherever the fire was, it went away before I could click the button. You can still remove her leg just for fun. Yeesh! You bring light in is pregnant. Ah! You bring light in. Congratulations! Do we have any of the color pigment plant growing? You need for calling us to change your look. No. I forgot about that. I don't think we need a lot of it. But I mean, may, they can also change just their hairstyle and stuff, right? I wonder if that would be enough. But that's a great point. Let's make a growing zone here. It'll be a little wonky looking. Tinctoria. There we go. We'll get that started. I forgot about that. Jay, what are you up to? You're washing your hands after using the bathroom, consuming a meal. Okay, I'll let you do that. Then I'm going to get you to change the uh, work, uh, excuse me, work on the styling station so that we don't get anyone who's too cranky here. Taking fine meal inventory. I guess that's okay. Playing chess. I'm going to override that and tell you to build the styling station, please. Hair, beard style, plus tattoos are enough. Tinctoria is 100% optional. Yeah, it would be cool. I don't think we have um, I don't think we have an ideological color. No, we might want one. I have you bedrooms. Paula is jealous of Juna's bedroom. I think it's Paula's bedroom. It's probably just because of the dirt. But we might need to do something else to make sure that it it stays. Well, once we get some art in here, it'll help. Okay. Who wanted to change their look? Peter. You know what? I'm not going to force a look. Whatever Peter wants to do, she's fine with. <sighs> yeah. I'm 
we've tried to mess with this before. Um, Rimworld prisoner room for conversion. I mean, first of all, we do have Jay's convertibilities come up. <laughs> Bedpan. Um. Bare naked self convert and slave. So we should maybe we should just have really tiny little micros. Oh, that's a big change. Failed to convert. She was upset by it, but her certainly fell a lot. Yeah, just a one by two with just a sleep spot. Maybe uh, yeah. That is a big change. Convert ritual first. Wait, can we do a convert ritual on a prisoner? Will they just get dragged over here? I wonder. Oh. Well, I didn't know that. Okay, excellent. So we got four days to that. Quest active. Cash supplies. Five man hunting rats. We get a reinforced barrel out of it from mortars. That seems very doable. Who do we send out on that? I mean, we even have... Um... We got a couple... Paul, well, Paula doesn't want to kill animals. Although maybe we'll do that. Juna's got a melee weapon, and I think it's pretty good with it. Send Juna out. Actually, you're not even a brawler. Juna out along with a couple people with guns? Hmm. We've got 16 days. We won't have to rush it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do um Gladius. Oh! There was a mod I was gonna add! When I was starting the stream today, I was like, was I gonna add a mod today? Yes, simple sidearms. I think should we add simple sidearms so that people can carry a melee weapon along with their gun? Yeah, where is the cache? I wonder how far it is. People are saying yes, okay. Oh, it's over here. Um, I mean, it's not that far because there's going to be a road. Okay, everyone is saying overwhelmingly yes. Hold on a second. Let's do a save. Quit the main menu. I think I've already got it in, in, in my list of subscribe stuff. I still don't know why this doesn't filter. There it is. Please wait for restart. <laughs> Twitch is not divided. Glad I'm sitting down. Yeah. Hey, for evil! 100 bits, menu hype! Thank you! Do that, do that. Do this. When did that come in? I just want to take a look at the timer here. That was 25 minutes ago. Hang on, while that's loading, I'm just going to check the front door. I don't think it's going to be here yet, but I'm just going to check. One sec. I don't know if Essentia said anything about it, but I'll be right back. Okay. Load, load, load anyway. Okay. Yeah, I do actually have the mod manager mod. Um, but 
I decided not to run it because I don't know reasons. Okay, so with simple sidearms, well, how, 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 how does it work? Can I just tell you to do this? Will you just have both weapons? Oh, there you go. Um, use range weapon. Use weapons according to own skill or passion. Use melee weapons. Left click. Because I've used it before, but it's been a long time. Let's see if Juno will just have two weapons now. No, you dropped the club. Should I just tell you to pick up as opposed to equip? I can't see the quality on these clubs. It's kind of annoying. Might be a mass limitation. Oh, that's true too. Well, we're at eight point two. Let's give you. Let's give you a knife. No, they're definitely swapping it. Pick up. There. It's just pick up. It's not a quip. There we go. Mod settings. Okay, let's check the mod settings for this. Um, simple sidearms. Presets basic. Can use a few light weapons. We'll attempt to use them in appropriate situations. Oh, there was an equip a sidearm for the knife. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Ah! Okay. Still goes in the inventory, but it might have gotten flagged slightly differently. It actually looks like the same in here. So maybe it was smart enough to do it. Okay. Now that is a really shitty knife. Um, what we're gonna do... Alright, I'm going to shrink that zone. Make a new stockpile zone over here. Every time I say stockpile zone, I get hungry for calzones. And we're going to say melee weapons go in that. That'll be a little easier to be able to keep an eye on them. You have a pistol sidearm for a club? Okay. Oh, I see. And click. So it's lit here. Well, that's... Hang on. Let's check... Um, who was it? Juna. There we go. Right click force to remove force use. Oh. Left click to force use. Right click to unset pump shotgun as default range weapon. Oh. Left click to set it as preferred melee weapon. Clicking once it gets a D. A force. Okay, hold on. Default range weapon. Okay. Well, that's it probably was going to do it anyway. So the default range weapon is a shotgun. The default melee weapon is the steel knife. Oh, Psychic Soothe. I don't know if the breaching axe is small enough. Okay, let me just check what other settings we had in the mod here. Um, so those are just the presets, which presumably sets all these others. Tool use auto switch, use best melee, melee combat auto switch, upon switch to melee attack when attacked in melee. So by default, that'll be turned on. Use best. Speed bias, they're going to try to tweak from one to the other. Limits. Single melee sidearm limit mode. What restrictions are based on individual? So maximum per sidearm 1.9 kilograms. So this could be tweaked to allow them to basically use anything. Just set it to no limit. Cause they'll still it, they'll they'll still have like a their own carrying capacity. Always limited by pawns carrying capacity. So now any weapon can be used as as their stuff. And I guess spawns is probably for invaders. I didn't have to save that change or anything, did I? No, just there. Okay. So that'll make our life a lot easier to assign this shit. Putting it down. I guess I would have just said as sidearm 
for the second one, regardless of what I want their primary, because I guess they just switch to whatever makes the most sense. Still like the idea of using these knives, even if they are kind of shitty. Because it is still going to be lighter overall. No free space. Oh. You're carrying a ton of rocks around. Alright. So, you can use your revolver, at, potentially, as a sidearm. For something. I guess if it had a slower fire rate, but no. I think what we're going to do is we're going to equip this bolt-action rifle. And, no, I guess someone's already going for that knife. And equip that with a really shitty knife. Well, there we go. Juno's got two. You need a sidearm. I guess I'll give you the breaching axe. Because why not? Oh, yeah, Borbra needs one, but they'll take it when they're awake. Oh, and Aprilise needs one as well. I still like the idea of these knives. Reserved by Borbra. Oh, too heavy. Right, you're carrying a shit ton of rocks. Wait, are you still carrying? Wait, you're carrying all these rocks around. You're not actually doing hauling. How's our food? Yeah, it's okay. We've been successfully hunting these muffalo without having them trigger. Which is great. Excellent. Barbara the Unwakeable. It sounds like um, sounds like some sort of Cthulhu-esque kind of monster. The Unwakeable. It's whiskey and chocolate. Oh, whiskey and chocolate? Hey, mining PR bail, thank you. One of the rooms is missing a toilet. It's got a sink but no toilet. Whoops, wouldn't more dogs be better for more hauling? Yeah, we were a little bit worried about footage. Oh yeah, this place is just not done at all. I mean, it still needs the, um, the plumbing too, but there we go. And then we don't have enough cloth, that's all right. I still like this as a room divider. We might do something else for the other rooms, but for these rooms, we'll use the cloth dividers. It's going to be okay. No door. Oh, no door. Mm -hmm. I'm a little inconsistent about wooden doors versus metal doors. We'll probably standardize later. What we'll probably do is standardize when we um, when we get auto doors. Probably auto door all the things for that Star Trek feel. Although, maybe I should have a different mod. There's a mod that changes some of the breakdown rules so that you burn less components on random breakdowns and stuff. Like, because when you auto-door everything, you get a lot more breakdowns and use up a lot more components. Kind of these fences taken down, but Jay's busy with other construction right now. So yeah, right, so I'm gonna set a bill here to make Gladius, which seem to be pretty decent one-handed weapons. I'll do until X, where X is having one that's got at least normal quality and decent amount of hit points. Um, don't make them out of diamonds or jade. I might just make them out of steel for now, actually. Although plasteel ones are really good, what we might want to do is set a skill limit. Fluffy Breakdown, that's the one exactly, yeah. And I, I think I have, again, um, actually, weirdly, I'm not subscribed to it. Oh, maybe the 1.3 version was different than the one I had before. Oh, original offer is Fluffy. So someone else is continuing it. That's what it is. Okay. So that's why I wasn't subscribed to this one. But yeah, I think that one there, it changes so that you need to, you still spend time going around repairing things, but if you, like, you repair them as they decay before they break down to the point where they need a component, which seems pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to put another job in here, which is going to be, uh, I think uranium's pretty good too because of heavy. Well, we'll put plasteel job. Um, we'll do until X. Um, I wonder if this checks the material. Yeah, there we go. So this should filter for specifically plasteel gladii. Make sure we have at least one. Now set normal as well, but the idea is this job here is going to be... Yeah, I kind of like 14 as limit. Your room is good for blunt weapons. Okay. Strangely, the knives have better DPS than gladii? Really, do they? Less per hit, but more damage. Kind of like the idea of being, like, Roman gladiators. On the other hand, like, a combat knife is a really smart, um, sidearm. Uh, Rimworld. 
wonder if there's a place. There's weapon and damage per second. Melee. So a Gladius average DPS is 7.1. And the knife is 7.3. Probably because it attacks faster. Gladys is slightly more armor piercing. I actually don't know how the armor math works in Rimworld, like the default Rimworld. I think we're gonna go Gladius, just cause it's cool. So the first job is the Plasteel one, but that'll only start being done A, if we have Plasteel and B, if we have a skilled enough worker. And then we're gonna have this other one that just tries to make sure we always have one good Gladius sitting around all the time. And I did set the no limit on, so we should be able to use the Gladius as a sidearm. So that should be okay. Yeah, R Rambo knives are cool, I agree. But yeah, we'll, we'll get some swords happening. That's going to be decent. Um, I don't remember what the stockpile... Oh, we can set quality and hit points. You know what? Let's filter for at least 50% hit points and normal or better. Maybe I'll do the same thing here. Because when I'm quickly looking for something to equip... I mean, I'll still have to look in other stockpiles, like if there's not enough stuff over here, but this should at least make it so that, I don't know why the nutrient paste dispenser and the hopper aren't being moved. Oh, maybe because they're not, they're not things that can normally be dis disassembled anymore. We disassembled them with a mod, I think. Well, they're over here. Maybe no one's gotten around to moving them. I don't know. Let's bring the speed up. Get blunt melee weapons with sharp ones. All recruits come with missing body parts. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. If we use clubs, we'll just beat them unconscious. They'll have broken bones and stuff, but won't be missing body parts the same way. I don't know. I think we'll leave that. Well, no one's planted this yet. Ooh, that's interesting. Because that would be Private Paula's job to do growing. What are you up to, Paula? You're hauling some hops. Oh, you're probably doing some plant cutting right now. Yeah, all right. And then hauling afterwards. Fair. Fair enough. Set up a prosthetics industry. Well, if we get the high level bionics, um, then maybe it'll be an advantage. Maybe they'll be miserable because we cut off their body parts and then they'll convert and then we'll give them cool bionics. Club hits hard enough, it'll smash them. That's true. I want to go and thin this out. And yeah, I'm thinking of making little, little tiny cells over here for our prisoners to break them. There you go. Just something like that for now. Something's wrong with the plumbing? Is it because this thing's blinking? Let's take a quick look at our piping. That's weird. That looks connected. Block drain! Ah! Someone's gotta go and clear that out. Getting some rice. Just to clear you're doing non-lethal damage. Yeah. It's so... <laughs> As a DM, sometimes it can be really annoying in D&D how easy it is for someone to do non-lethal damage because they're like, oh, damn it. Now I got to like role play this prisoner and figure out what he knows. It's like, damn it, PCs. Can't you just murder everyone like you're supposed to? You need to tell people they can't flush down certain items. Yeah. You know what they're doing? They've got themselves um, like flushable wipes and they're like, it's fine, right? And it's like, no. But well, first of all, that's a sink that's clogged. Maybe some, maybe Borbo's too hairy and clogged the sink. Flushable wipes aren't. They're just not. It's all a lie. This plan to break and convert people so devious. It makes me feel like we're playing a little more like Rimworld. Technically flushable. Well, yeah. They're flushable, but cloggable is, I guess, what the deal is. Mm -hmm. We're still very reliant on Jay to do a lot of construction for us. We got ourselves a zut. Electrical short. Reset everyone. Put out the fire, quick. Recruit every recruit, unrecruit everyone. No, don't rebuild this. I actually had a deconstruction job on that. That's annoying. I had a deconstruct for the great gate, but it was destroyed by this. So the game was like, oh, so I should reconstruct it, right? It's like, no, damn it, no. Oh, is this rotten? 
Is the freezer full? Why did that get hauled there? <gasps> Maybe because an animal couldn't bring it here? That's what it was. It was an animal bringing it, but um, yeah, that makes sense. We've got we've got a very special thing. Animals are allowed to access this part of the freezer, which is where we're keep keeping kibble and raw meat, so they can technically eat that. They also have access to kibble over here. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of, it's true, a lot of flushable wipes say they're not flushable in the fine print, or, you know, oh, we, you, you know, they have some... Oh, apparently I had a command to get rid of those old, um... Those old little stalls. Do I actually have piping over here? I do. That's right, because I am planning, I think, on making this into the bigger hospital, and then this into maybe the larger public restroom, but for now, I'm just going to get some... Toilets. And... Let me get four sinks in here. I don't know, no, just two. Honestly, just one is all you need, but what the heck, right? Mm -hmm. See ya, animal occurred. Video about the NYC sewer system and the engineer ranting about all the flushable wipes constantly clogging the system. Yeah, exactly. Um, we're going to get rid of these steel tubs. Because they were just here um, because we didn't have sinks. Now, people have sinks in their rooms. You're still going to have that, which is going to be fine. Okay. We got some mining going on. I did, I did tag a, a fair bit of uh, steel places to be mined. Which, actually, I'm going to cancel this mining here for now. Oops. Did I have something selected? Did I just cancel it? I don't know. I'm going to cancel that because I want them to mine out the stockpile over there. And then... And then I don't know what next. This is still this. I was just mining this out to square it off. It's really not a priority, but... Oh, they rang the doorbell! I got sushi, you guys! Hold on a second. And then, uh, Zixki, I'm gonna read your message about, um, armor. Oh boy, I'm so excited. There you go, non-blurry camera. I'm so excited. Okay, let's unpause the game. No public bathhouse. Well, that's actually, oh. <laughs> it's got the emotes. <laughs> the emote text from Barbara. That's funny. Okay, right, what was that damage here? Each layer is a separate armor value. When a hit is taken, a random number from 1 to 100 is rolled. If it's under the armor value, minus the armor penetration of the weapon, then the damage is halved. If it's less than half, it's deflected. Okay. It's fairly straightforward. But it feels like the higher armor pen might be pretty valuable. I don't usually run the, um, the hygiene mod either. But, you know, it's fun to throw in from time to time. All right, sleeping spots on the ground. Let's open this bad boy up. Standard cooking plants fantastic with tribal colonies. Yes, that's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It felt, it always felt a little cheesy, but there was something kind of entertaining about the, um, the plants that made metal. As a source of metal. Sushi SMR. Well, I'm going to start with the takoyaki. The little octopus balls. Mmm. Didn't know octopus had, had balls. That. Delicious. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's only my second time having that. First time was last time we got a treat stream with this, and it's delicious. Oh my god. They're so good for octopus. Those are big balls. DoorDash French toast for brunch 25 minutes ago. Still no food. Oh, that sounds cool. So, I don't think I can manually like, assign a specific prisoner to a specific bed. So we may have to do a little bit more juggling in the future. I mean, I guess I can... Oh, I can't actually forbid a bed? Really? No. Can't do that either. So I'll just flag this as for a colonist. When the door goes up over here, then what we'll do is flag this bed for a colonist, and then someone will bring it over there. Mm-hmm. Mm. When did the election happen? Kept such a long time. Mmm. You can forbid the door to the bed. That'll that'll minimize some of our yeah. I made the whole outside of prison. Okay, but not anymore. Yeah, that would prevent that, but I still need. I still need to make this not a prisoner bed so that Suchin gets ejected from this. So they're still listed as injured, but yeah, they're fine. So I'm gonna make this a four colonist and have Borbra come over here, take them to a bed, which will be one of these. There it is, right there. Now, if they're injured, we might still want to bring them. To one of these first. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, rock for a pillow. <laughs> now convert. Lost 10% on the prisoner. Hmm? Did their mood change? Oh, wow. 18%. Wow, they're breaking fast. Holy cow. Okay. Don't worry, you'll be back in a proper bed soon then. Jay, you don't have the insert convert anymore, no? No, not yet. And this ritual, not yet either. Mmm. Darv, thanks for the gift subs. Be sure to have We might. If Paula gets a break, if they snap for some reason, we're going to arrest them and then do the conversion. Is what I talked about last time. You always kill characters that snap. We've done that before, but in this case, yeah, what we'll try to do is arrest them and then we'll convert them. It's just our, what do we call these? Are these the re-education cells or like, I don't know. I don't know what the theme is here. There we go. Come on. Let's have a little chat. 8.7%. Yeah. And then you'll be back in the fancy room. We should get them some proper plumbing for these rooms. You know, he'll use some extra pipes, but then we'll have uh, symmetry here. Locker rooms are the size of lockers. Uh, Grey Death, the plumbing is from a mod. But it, that mod has existed for a while, and a lot of people play with it all the time. I don't usually use it, but it is kind of entertaining. Are you sure this is Rim World, not Prison Architect? <laughs> hey, I tell you, Paradox have been putting out a lot of Prison Architect content ever since you picked up the game. There you go, election's underway. All right. Let's see what happens. I don't know what they're voting in here, right? Because, like, it's called mayor in game. For us, is it is it like a union rep? Ooh. Don't haul the rock in the cell. You're right, because it is, like, unattractive. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, oh, it's delicious. Call them iPods, because turning them into company interns. <laughs> Voting for new team lead. I suppose that's it. Chatted about human limitations with three. All right. Jay's asleep. Here, wake up, because you have to go vote or something. No, you're not going to vote. Scrum master election. <laughs> now, oh, quest available. Transporter crash. A shuttle of the Empire has taken damage. She can place the land. Pirates in the sharp game. Oh, I hate this quest. It's so stupid. Because they like land on like the corner of the map, and then they get attacked and killed instantly. I hate this quest. So stupid. And you have to like camp there, your people are getting exhausted, so then you break, and that's when they attack. And even if you're there, sometimes they just show up on the side, insta-kill the target, and then you just lose. I hate that quest. It sucks. Did you do the rat quest? No, but it is available for 16 days. Election- Oh, tie! There was a tie! And after a battle royale bickering match, JLAS is the only one willing to continue arguing about it. The other cannons withdrawn, leaving him the victor. <laughs> How do we get a tie? Did someone not vote? Because there's seven people. All right. JLAS is now the mayor of the town. Whatever that means. Amazing. The system works. <laughs> That's usually what happens to me on the internet, too. It's like, you know what? I actually don't care about continuing to argue about this. One person voted for their third candidate. I think Paula could still vote despite the ideological difference, so I don't know. Hmm. Confined interior. Starting a fire spree. They are a pyromaniac. All you had to do was snap a little sooner. Hang on, let me get everyone up. We're gonna have to put out some fires here. Oh, it's raining! It keeps going out! <laughs> and she can't set fire to any of the walls! Oh my god, that's amazing! Oh, it's no longer raining. Reset, make sure someone's coming over right away. Right, right, right. <laughs> Jake, come over here and repair the door. That's really fun. Inspired recruiting. Well, that'll be potentially useful. Yeah, I know. There is actually a mod to make it so that steel doors and walls are no longer flammable. I mean, the idea is that they're not they're like pure steel, right? They've got some sort of, like, other material. Is that indoor heating? Oh yeah, the temperature in here. Oh my God, you would have killed yourself with the temperature. It's actually minus. Oh shit, it's cold. So you're getting all the negative debuffs. In fact, you're gonna get hypothermic soon. Ravenously hungry. Did the dog just come over and eat her meal? I think the dog just came over and ate the meal that someone brought. Remove the home zone so they don't get cleaned. Oh my god, that is so amazing. I mean, this is this is inhumane completely. Which means it's really accurate since we're playing a corporation and corporations are inherently inhumane and and sociopathic. Dog was worth more than the company anyway. That's true. There, a new meal was brought. If another dog comes over and eats that. <laughs> uh, we could restrict the pets from prisoner rooms, but I kind of think it's hilarious. Hey, geothermal power. I don't know, maybe, maybe I will. At least, like, at least these little rooms. Yeah. Yeah, we probably should. Uh, animals allowed. Let's get um let's get our plumbing set up over here. Toilet. Basin. Fountain. Um shower. Get rid of that. Uh 
I'm gonna move this out of the prisoner room. This is gonna be another prisoner room here. So we're gonna make this um, four prisoners. Certainty 5.9. So as soon as her certain hit zero and she like converts over, then we'll move her into this room and then try to recruit. That's the plan. I'm gonna have another uh, octopus ball. God, it's delicious. I think they use the same barbecue sauce on this as they do on like eel. Wonderful. All right, what's next in the queue? Central heating and then geothermal heating. Central heating will give us um, boilers, I think, which means we can have hot water for our showers now. Mm. So do we set up the extra power generator? Because right now we're generating tons of power. Make blanket. Can we make blankets? In Swedish, the word for inmate is intern. <laughs> I mean, you have internment camps, right? Is a thing, so. I can see how that all works. Oh yeah, we could just do conversion ritual. Oh, zero day. It's actually not up yet. You gotta wait a tiny little bit. We just unlocked geothermal power. <clears throat> you know what? I will build it because I want to start putting down guns and that's going to eat a lot of power. So let's get this going. And then we're going to start spamming down turrets in here. Or, uh, no, zero days. Zero day for There it is. Now it's available. Um, yeah, I guess we'll use it. On this. No reason to use it on Paula right now. I need a speaker. Why is Jay and Barbara not available on the list? What's going on here? <clears throat> Only a valued employee can fill the role of speaker. But why? That's weird. Maybe it's scheduled sleep time? Oh, Jay's attending a meeting. Probably a mayor thing. Meeting with Borbra. Brace of support to the mayor. There we go. Now I'm betting they can do it. There we go. I'm going to assume it's going to work. conversion rituals. Everyone gets plus three mood. We get a development point. Now, hold on. You're going to be brought here, but wait. Just confirm. No, wait. What? Oh my god! 0. 0.07 left. Oh, and they're asleep, so I can't do it. <laughs> Alright, another night in the uh, in the Intern acclamation pod. Hmm. That was wonderfully delicious. I'm gonna have the maki rolls in a little bit. Because they don't need to be warm. The uh, takoyaki. You want to eat them when they're hot or warm. Hmm. Onboarding cuticle. Yeah, basically a one HP situation. I agree. 
At least it was considered effective. And we got points out of it. Fire. That is a lightning strike for sure. Medical emergency. Severe illness. Are you freezing to death? Extreme hypothermia. Barbara's asleep. We do have a second docker. Three come over here. Okay, they should be warm. I don't think there's any treatment to do unless they start losing body parts. What's the temperature in here? It's only 11 degrees. Oh, man, it is really cold. I guess we need a second heater in this whole setup. Wow. Um, there were some flakes on the... Uh the uh, takoyaki, so it must have been Bonito Flakes. Man, it was really good. Okay. 17, there we go, okay. How's your... Still have extreme hypothermia. Serious now, okay, that's a little bit better. Okay. <clears throat> tried to convert... Private Paula tried to convert Juna! What?! No, they're not, she's not awake right now. Maybe she woke up for a second. There we go. Now she's up. Convert. <laughs> Interrupt the shower. There we go. Reform ideology. Petra industrial exploitation. Wonderful. Now we can start recruiting you. Don't use ability regular conversion attempts will do it. Yeah, I mean, I knew it would, but I just wanted it to be faster. And then if we can start lowering the willpower now, there we go. Makes it a little faster now. I didn't want it to bounce back. I didn't want to risk the ideology bouncing back. I don't know if we can give them clothes. I guess we can just dump clothes in the area. Right? I don't know how it works. We just make a little stockpile with some clothes in here. Oh, do you have the... We had the inspired uh, recruit, but I don't know if I can force it. I guess I could just disable Borbara for a sec, so that only Jay does it. I mean, they'll be warm now. Yeah, how do, how do you get them close? Just make a little stockpile? It's a little awkward. So what we do is I can make two little zones. Oh, it, it merge them together? There were two separate clicks, damn you. There you go. Select off, click here, do that. Um, clear, critical, we're gonna keep one piece of clothing. What do we make? We make button-down shirts, I think. Pants and a button-down shirt. Let's see here. Styling stations in place. Yeah, button-down shirts, pants. I'm gonna make sure they're higher up in the list here. <clears throat> so they're kept around. Oh, she's walking. She's got no legs. What? I mean, I guess there's no legs in the art, but no, she's fine. <laughs> I don't want you sleeping through the day. I don't think I can... I can prioritize chatting. There we go. Stand in the door. Taunt her with freedom. Let's see how good this is. Wait, so Inspired is like actually one shot? Holy crap! I didn't realize that. That's amazing! Alright, we can just get rid... I mean, I suppose I could have left that. But... Uh, Suchin, welcome to the party. She's gonna go put some clothes on. Wow. Yeah, you can't firefight because you're a pyromaniac. You do have double passion for doctoring. Well, I like that. Good animal handling as well. I suppose we could have, keep that high priority. Um, I'm gonna focus the hunting on just one person. You don't really have passion for anything else. You could do research and managing. 
I think we'll we'll keep the sort of haul and clean over here. That's gonna be okay. I suppose I could put the managing a little higher. So that Borber doesn't always have to do it, and they can use a little bit more research time. But I want to focus the researcher on having super high skill. Or what I could do is I have could have Suchian on an inverted sleep schedule. Yeah, we're not doing fishing right now, so it doesn't matter. Like we can just ignore that. We could have Suchian up at night so that someone is researching at night. Pyromanic Doctor, great for cauterizing wounds. Yeah. I think I like this idea. Oh, need to fix that. Now, it might, I was going to say, it might impact the uh, socializing a little bit. But not really. <clears throat> we'll do this, and we'll make sure you're explicitly set to work during this time. <clears throat> yeah, I did add a mod that added fishing, but we're not really doing fishing on this map. Technically, we've got some little ponds over here. But I enabled it because it was like, well, it's not going to hurt to have it enabled. But I don't think we're really going to be looking for it. Find your clothes yet? There we go. You're gonna go and slaughter Fistandintilus. Quiz. Oh! Our goat! Oh, our goat finally came of age. Our final goat. So we had a little bit of a goat like herd going on, and then we had the opportunity to buy pigs, which is just gonna be better, so there we go. Rip fifty. <laughs> Wasting so much human food. <laughs> Goat has to go. Oh, there are traders. Yeah, you know what? Let's uh, send Borber out here. Have a chat with Capadonna. Got Bidinsis, Jezium, Bale. Mm hmm. The villain. Let's see what we've got going on here. <clears throat> Hadn't really noticed them. <laughs> I could buy Bunisher a sheep. Or a sheep Bunisher. Not, I'm not buying a sheep for Bunisher. We're going to plan on getting components. We could sell the Boomalo, but we're keeping uh, Niryata around for the um, chem fuel. <clears throat> Tech prints are great. Some of these pulsers are great. <gasps> Builder base station. We can get a robot. An architect leg. We don't have the money for it. But that would be wonderful for our one-legged person. Honestly, we don't actually have the money for what we're doing now. I'm well, not willing to buy very much. <clears throat> Unless I sell a bunch of our animals. Because, yeah, even if I, um... <clears throat> even if I zero out these components, right? We have 700 bucks. We need to make 500 more dollars-ish. Can I sell some diamond? No. All I can sell them is animals. And package survival meals and some of my own components, which I'd rather not do. <clears throat> the dogs are here to, um, they haul. All the adults, I believe, have been trained for hauling. Yeah. Start some arts so we can sell some arts. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to do this because buying components is always a good idea. We'll put an urgent haul on that so it doesn't decay. <clears throat> Could take the radio for a source of fun, yeah. Yeah, we'll check the animals. But yeah, right now, all the adult pups are set to haul. Oh, that's right. There was the extra silver out here. Um, I think it did get hauled in. Yeah. ABC, always buy components. Don't sell me I'm a great hauler. <laughs> Polite Cannibal Society reminds you that killing animals for food is inhumane. <laughs> oh. Okay, we can go and uh, get rid of all these. I always figured they'd time out, but... Oh, we're cremating a corpse over here. There you go. Yeah, doing hauling duties. Because unless, um, unless there's an animal handling to do... Um, Sutian here is going to do a bunch of hauling and then cleaning, but. 
So mostly he's going to spend a lot of time hauling, which I could lower the priority of, because theoretically we do have the, the puppers to help with that. On the other hand, that'll just maybe make it that much more likely that we run out of hauling targets, at which point she'll start cleaning. Trade Caravan is leaving. Okay, that's fine. Once this is up, we're going to build a bunch of gun turrets. Well, we're going to start building some gun turrets. Central heating is done. Okay. Radiators, hot water tanks, boilers, and thermostats. So I'm going to keep all my water storage in one area over here. So we already had the hot water tanks. We need to connect it to a boiler, which apparently the boilers aren't in here, so they must be in temperature. No chem fuel. All right, electric boiler can be controlled by thermostats. Do I have to build thermostats? <clears throat> Used to control electric and gas boilers. More than one can be placed. Connect via standard plumbing. This pipe sewage into fields for crops. Wait, can you just do that? Wow. Okay, I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to build a hot water tank. And, oh yeah, and a thermostat. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. Oink, oink, I'm a pig. <laughs> oh, don't need a thermostat. It's room-specific stuff. Is that just mostly for the radiators? Maybe it's that. Maybe otherwise the boiler just tries to go to the max. All right, well, wait to build the thermostat until everything else is set up. <clears throat> hot water tank. Okay, so we got the pipe. We got a hot water tank. Now we got a boiler. Oh, which needs electricity. Sure, electric boilers can be placed outside. Oh, are they gonna zut? Maybe we'll have to build a little room around this. Which seems reasonable, actually. Oh, well, good trader. There's a solar one? Solar heater. Oh! <clears throat> Uses sunlight to heat hot water tanks and radiators. All right, well, I'll build one. And then I might keep this as well. We can always toggle it off. But, I mean, assuming you've got enough hot water storage... Trader. Was it a trader on the map? Or was it a spaceship? Must have been a spaceship. Yeah. I don't know if hot water pipes affect things. Connect have to boiler to the grid. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look. One sec. And by ducks, I don't think I really want to do that. We're going to buy some sheep. Not looking to do that right now. I could sell chem fuel. We're not using it right now. And that's actually half decent money. I'm going to sell some of these smaller stacks of leather that aren't big enough to be used currently for things. I am tempted to buy a bunch of actual medicine. That seems like a decent idea. I could sell plasteel or even wood to make some money. We're going to sell some of this clothing here. I'm going to sell these unused beds, refrigerator. Yeah, I can't sell the neutromine dispenser or anything like that. Sell the dime. So that's an interesting question. Yeah, I guess so. Because part of me is like, no, we need to save it for like the mining corp. But 
you know, maybe this is what we're here for. We're make them, meant to make money for the corporation, so we'll sell the diamonds. We could use them to make jewelry later on, but there's more diamonds I think we can mine. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that for a ton of cash. We have uh, we have more uh, ruby we can mine out over here, which I haven't designated yet. Um, and there's actually more diamond waiting to be mined out over here. So we're going to save before we we're going to save that before we get into the industry. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm hoping that the boiler is connected to the grid because it's touching the hot water tank. And I don't know if the plumbing pipes themselves carry temperature or only if there's a radiator. We'll see. All right, Jay, what are you up to? You're doing the geothermal generator, which I guess is fine. Oh, we got a blight. Oh, I do have a mod that auto flags the blight crops to be cut. Which just saves some clicks, which is nice. That's a lot of lost corn. I mean, our food situation's fine, actually, luckily. But that is a lot of lost corn. The prisoners will get dumped in there. Jay, you're gonna go rest, okay. Geothermal's nearly up, but not quite. Use corn to make shine. Yeah, we have a, we have some hops going, but we don't actually have a booze industry yet. <laughs> I like how you get in with the lightning strikes. You get a tiny little bit. Uh, no, okay, well this is powered on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna untoggle that to leave it off. That's gonna be sort of a backup if for some reason the solar stuff's not working out for us. Light on you and your corn. Ooh, actually, I meant... Ah, see, I'd originally left the space here to walk. Because I'm not sure people can walk through this, because I was going to make a line of these in case we needed more water towers. I mean, I can just dump the water towers a little further back. It's going to be okay. All right, what I'm going to do, the uh, nutrient paste dispenser, I'm going to install it. Oh. Without the mod, I can't even install this. Wait, I can deconstruct it? Oh, that's funny. Okay. <clears throat> gonna deconstruct these things, which otherwise can't be used anymore. Watch me just crash the game right now. Tap, 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 tap. Juno's the real, the only person on mining duty, really, but at least it means that uh, Juno's mining skill is getting up pretty good. It's something they can do without vision. It's gonna be fine. Plumbing for the rest of the workers' room. Down over here? Yeah... Maybe, yeah. Yeah, and they have a communal bathroom over here, at least. Someone didn't put the seat down. Rude. But yeah, we have hot water. Kind of feel like building a few more hot water tanks. That's, a, yeah, unisex restroom over here. I mean, there's stalls, so who gives a crap, right? I mean, other than people literally giving a crap because it's a bathroom. Anyway, ritual opportunity soon. Is this for us? Team Builder Exercise on the 7th of December. -y. Nice. Yeah. So we'll start on the 7th, and that has a 50% chance to give us a new recruit. Oh, a raid. Prepare for a while, then attack, which tends to be a slightly stronger one. The only tribes people, though. Okay, that's not too bad. We don't have our turrets up yet, but we do have all of these. Hopefully I don't have any people walking out over there. That would be bad and awkward. Doesn't look like it. I think they're mostly just going to die on these traps. Well, the geothermal is up. What's the radius on our mini turrets here? Oh, pretty good. What kind of stone do we have the most of right now? Lots of granite. Okay. Start with a little something like this. I mean, it's not going to be relevant for this particular attack, but it'll be ready for the next one. 
Um, an explosion could... Yeah, we're going to have to change these power conduits. I'm not going to remove them. Guinea pig took damage there. What from? Burn. All right. <clears throat> so we got Banana Cabana, Exclama Remorza, Phase, Two Fang, Why Me, and Scave Rat in this attack. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want them to shoot down the corridor because I'm worried that that'll just open up the fire. I want them to like come around the corner one at a time here and get obliterated. But we might go ahead and make some guns, like, just box this whole thing in soon. I mean, it's just a really common name in the rim world here. How dare! How dare, says Banana Cabana! I like your, uh, your, your slouchy hat. Very stylish. Maybe some of you will survive. There we go, beginning their assault. All right, let's grab everyone. Recruitify. Position. Oh, uh, Suchin doesn't have any weapons. My bad, buddy. Let's get you a pump shotgun. And we'll equip a steel club as a sidearm. Oh, April Elise was outside. Oh. Quick drama, go! Get inside the house! Get inside the hoose! It's whiskey and chocolate! Aku! Hey, Aku! I just want to see if you have a preference for when you schedule your dental appointments. I always go at... 2.30. Hang on, I think it's being cut off. Oh, 2.30! Tooth hurty! Tooth hurty. Put something between traps separating coming enemies. Like, you're talking about putting some rocks in between there to slow them down? Maybe. Tooth hurty. God! That's really funny! I haven't heard that one before, I don't think. Why me?! Boo! <laughs> Just set fire! Here. And actually, that was a place already damaged, so for whatever reason, the AI thinks this is a good place to put in a little attack, which is kind of annoying. Watching for targets. Well, let's send you up here. We're not going to be able to put that fire out right away. Death to traps. Oh, we got Wigglers! Join the Union. Oh, they're fleeing. All right. Oh, we got a few Wigglers. Ow. <laughs> Oh, we actually might be able to uh, get a few more hits here if they've slowed down a little, maybe. Yeah. Die, Tufang. Perish! Says three. I don't think that's going to work out. Okay. Now, unrecruit everyone. Capture Exclama Remores. Okay, we've got the three of these rooms. I think there might be more than three Wigglers, though. Banana Cabana. Scave Rat. Yeah, no, we do. So... Four prisoners. Oh, Sustine took this room. I'm just going to change this for four prisoners. You'll have to find something else. Capture Phase. That everyone, I think. Yeah. So, the only one who died to the traps is Wimey. Also, if someone could go and put out the fire, that'd be great. Thanks. How am I spleen? Oh, I should have checked to see missing body parts and traits and stuff before I captured. I guess we'll check them now. Exclaimo Remora, what's your deal here? How's your health? You are missing a leg and a finger and you're going to die in an hour. Okay, well, rip you. And you can't mine? Strip. And you're gonna die on your own, but we're gonna put you on execute anyway. I mean, they were gonna be dead in an hour, so. Uh, oof, Cracked Pelvic, that sounds painful. Ambrosia Addiction. You're gonna be dead in two hours, Scave Rat. But you're not missing any body parts. So I have some sense of outdoorsy sickly. You got some skills. All right, congratulations. Banana Cabana. 
Not missing any body parts. Two hours to go. I'm a slow learner cannibal. You sound great! You sound fine, buddy. I'm gonna put a convert on you. Okay, you're gonna start doing some tens. Yeah, the thing is, I think a lot of these are gonna die before we get to them. We need maybe you need to move some medicine closer. You're missing an arm and you're gonna die in an hour. Phase is doomed. Oh, I did record some more of the sieve. Okay, Exclaimo has died, blood loss. Mm-hmm. Oh, another death. But Banana, yeah, you might live, and Scave Rat might as well! Hey hey hey! Welcome to your hellhole. That's the informal name for these little uh, areas here. Nah, we don't eat humans. We know where they've been. They're disgusting, filthy creatures. 50% turnover rate. Yeah, we'll see if you get an infection lying here in this tiny little dirt floor room. Yeah, I, I think the the technical word is onboarding stations. I like that. Oh, what are you saying? Oh, it went away. Dang. 15 seconds of fame and Quill's Twitch. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, do we do we think all the rooms? Are for, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, retag this, and we might be getting some new recruits soon. Not to mention Sustians. So what we're going to do? Uh, Cancel this. And then what was I doing for the bedroom? Oh yeah, at the end of these little trios. Um, which would mean here and here. No, I mean the room's just the room lights are just different. So what we'll do is we'll do this instead. There we go. I like that. All right. We may have to turn mining on for a few more people. I mean, we are a mining colony. Juno can't do any everything on his own. Come on. Select all. Thank you. We do basically have a dedicated miner. Juna is effectively a dedicated miner over here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's the retirement hall. Before they get burninated. 1.8 days left. We'll be able to do a ritual. At least going to the bathroom. I felt bad watching there. Uh, quest to build compensated warfare. Twi <laughs> Borbra! Twitch Borbra Borbra. That's actually interesting how it does internally, but okay. Uh, some people have been harassing you. I don't think we want to do another attack right now, mostly because uh, we're, we're kind of full up on interns. We don't want them to be attacked. walking together it looked, it looked weird it looked like uh, Peter was carrying Jay diggy diggy hole there you go and Juna's got a fair amount of skill I don't know how much the cataracts are impacting the mining if any I would hope not very much I suspect it probably lowers it a little bit I suspect manipulation is probably more important than vision and their manipulation's at 99. Great if we can get some some bio eyes, but you also got a heart condition. You're probably gonna like kick the bucket soon. But yeah, we'll start digging out these bedrooms. I suppose I don't need to actually dig out the back hallway part yet. Let me do that. Just point him at the wall. I'll give him a pick. Yeah, just start swinging. You'll be fine. Ooh, level 9 cooking, that's good. Oh, I wonder if I will try to flee as revenge for getting sold as a dog. Oh, previously, yeah! <laughs> and then I can actually see you in Twitch chat. I want to get the heavily injured interns in better rooms to increase survival rate. Well, they're not infected, so I think they're going to be fine now. If they didn't get any infections. There we go. Build some sort of tomb to our retired workers. Oh, we do actually. We have uh, Grumpy Oldie, our only actual dead worker, buried here. We had to do some swapping around. Because I think we've got this set to not burninate people. 
We did it because we needed to run the ritual. It turns out, apparently, you can run a retirement ritual, um, like a funeral service. We call it the retirement party. I think you can run it with an empty grave, people said, but we'll get buried properly. Prison temp. Oh, yeah, that might be the one issue. It's quite cold in here. Oh, if I set it to prisoner and medical, they'll get put here, and then they'll move back over here after they're better? I know they'd automatically move here. I just don't know, do they move back? We do have some ambrosia sprouts. So I'm actually wondering about smoothing the walls so that we can do some construction events and stuff. I think Warden will do that automatically. Uh. We'll move back in vanilla. All right, well, we'll keep that in mind. There are no infections this time right now, so it doesn't really matter too much. Well, we want to keep the wall as rough, but I think... I wonder if we can do an over-the-wall thing without losing the tile. Let's find out. Let's mine a little um, tunnel back here. The idea is we'll, uh, this will be like a little utility thing with a heater. Maybe I'll double light it. And then we can have... We could always do more like little prisoner things on the other side, too. I mean, intern things. I mean onboarding so we can put the doors in here yeah i think the over yeah over the wall probably still so i'm thinking i might just smooth the back walls of all three of these and then put the vent there i mean we do want them to be ridiculously uncomfortable but um freezing to death is not what we're looking for that's kind of counterproductive you know Force clean the little prison room. Give them they're done bleeding now. No, we're, we're trying to keep them dirty. Like, yeah, the blood will could pr probably lead to more infections later on, which is an issue. So yeah, maybe the prison ward the, is going to be a good idea. Unharvested? That's weird. A plant cut is a super high priority. What is April Lee's doing? Okay, we're in bed. I mean, fair. Wake up. You're going to sow the area. Are you going to cut the plants? You're digging. Well, maybe the rest isn't ready to be harvested yet. It's weird that one became unharvested. Oh, maybe it... Oh, because it's too cold. It's too cold so they're not growing, but they still eventually die out eventually. I could force a harvest early on. Now, we're going to leave the rock chunks in there, too. Keep the room miserable. I mean, these rooms, sure. Uh, actually, I guess the blood in here could be cleaned. Ooh. Geothermal heating. Oh, we need a new research project. Okay. What do we want to research? Actually, I would very much like to have electric stone cutting. Sauna is neat. Deep wells, washing machine. I think washing machine lets us get rid of the, um, yeah, the taint. Yeah. Septic tanks? Oh, yeah. I like that. No research found. Sewage treatment. Large sewage treatments, which accumulate a large amount of sewage and provide vast treatment of sewage. Oh, septic. Did I spell it wrong? Maybe I spelled it wrong. Beer's actually always already researched. Sewage slug composting. Which, actually, we could do first. Oh, I can click and drag. Maybe get the electric stone cutting first. It's going to be handy dandy. Oh, I put the piece up at second. Did it have spectic? Maybe I did something like that. Spectic, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm using a mod for the entire research queue or the entire research screen. So I don't know if you can click and drag the actual tech order in vanilla or if that's part of the mod too. 
I have not tried the Ancient Mod. I don't know what it is. Oh, an Ambrosia Sprout. Excellent. The manager should auto-harvest it when time comes. So that should be fine. Food situation is okay. And we do have a great chef now. Um, actually, I guess I'm going to smooth this entire back wall so I can run power through it. That's mo that's for me, not the prisoners. I mean, the rooms are still going to be awful, so I don't think it's going to matter there. So aren't you happy you joined us? Suchins? Things are so much better. Yeah, you're milking Niryata. It's a little filthy. Everyone's in a pretty good mood. Training the dog, making sure the hauling's still good. Are we training up guard? Wait, is this a new a newly aged puppy? Oh yeah. And we have the auto train on, so we're gonna get more hauling from our Labradors. There the dogs are definitely the most valued employees. It's like employee of the month every month is one of the dogs. All the time. Smoothing the ball. Oh yeah, it might home zone again. Okay, we'll check on that. I mean, it's not a big deal. Could heat the hallway and vent the rooms for temperature. That's exactly what I'm looking to do. I'm gonna put a heater in here and build vents over here. Entirely the plan. So it shouldn't be better as a steak. She is uh, all about candles. Crisis of belief, yeah. Reduced to 33%, awesome. Spirit has been broken, woo. Why do all, every game we play is terrible. Oh, I have no more hauling space. No, that's true. Every game we play is terrible or makes us do terrible, makes us. I don't know, maybe it says a lot more about me than the games. Shin was always in play of the month. Yeah, Shin the Rat. The story of Shin the Rat. Wow, what an epic tale. Oh, team building exercise. Mm-hmm, which I think we do at the Disco Ball. Yeah. Oh, let's wait until Barbara's awake. Everyone else will wake up, but not Barbara unless we kick him out of bed. Not even people so far. Yeah, not yet. Terrible games are more fun. I mean, we do like to play games where terrible things can happen. There you go. If if a game can have something disastrous occur, those are the games we play. Because it's far more entertaining. Look at three just boogie down! We don't have to have central heating running, no. I've considered it. I think I've loaded it in the past. But it was sort of like one thing at a time. Set the intern holes dumping site for chunks? Maybe. And yeah, the, the speaker lights are cool. Everyone's just wiggling. It's super awkward. Work parties? Until everyone gets drunk. This is the, uh, it's just the employee break room. This is our conference center, conference room. Still gotta get rid of the Stella at some point, but we don't have any art going on right now, so. Girl, I started out drunk since three. <laughs> Woo! Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. All right, employee appreciation is over. Oh, it's boring! Wait, total quality is 96%. And that made it boring? Well, I guess the quality is 96% and you, then you roll on that and we just got a bad roll. Ah! Uh, we've got max speakers, max light. Room impressiveness is almost maxed out. We're missing two people for a full party. That's actually shockingly disappointing. We just got really unlucky. Yeah, x -commed. We got x -commed. Was it just a 4% chance of failing? Ooh, certainty didn't change. Well, wait, you're gonna get another, uh, you're gonna get another break. That was a quality bore. <laughs> Quiet, you. Convert. It's your, uh, 75%. Break, break, break. 75 to 74%. All right, it's okay. We'll just have to uh, leave you in that room for a little bit longer. Whiskey Maybe chocolate. for whiskey and chocolate. Who? Banana Cabana! Hey! <laughs> Sorry we uh, are treating you poorly here. What kind of dog speaks Spanish? A Cocker Espanol! <laughs> I've not heard that one before. That's good. I mean, a Cocker Spaniel is already... Spanish, but it's funnier with Espanol. I think some might just have a preset make it hard to convert them. Okay, that might explain a couple of things. Because there were some people that converted really easily and other people did not. So the loyal party, I mean, they're literally called loyal. 
And this is what Paula is as well. I mean, loyalist, stand alone before others. It doesn't say anything there. Apostasy is abhorrent. Opinions change the ideology. Yeah, I'm assuming this is related to that. That makes them really hard to, to break. Now, Banana Cabana, oh, it's also Loyal Party. Oh. Maybe we just, in the future, don't pull anyone in that's got the Loyal Party stuff. We can't do another conversion ritual, but I have a button here. Oh, you're asleep. Apostati, Stasti makes them really hard to break. Okay, you're loyal to partying. Yeah. I mean, he already had one break in here. Maybe, maybe they'll go. Look for certainty loss factor, e.g. under that. Okay. Oh, global certainty loss factor times 40%. Oh, so the amount they lose is only 40% of the normal amount. Ah. Okay. Yeah, more than twice as hard. Okay. Well, they might just get sold to a slave ship then. Maybe someone else wants interns more than me. Oh, an eclipse? That's not a problem anymore. We have ludicrous amounts of power. Multiculturalism is a thing. That's true. That's not currently company policy. You have to subscribe to the employee handbook. Also, personality traits and influence it. Okay. Precept you can pick that makes it so that your own pawns try to convert by themselves more often. Really? Okay, well, maybe that'll be one of the first things we do when we uh, can do our first conversion. Hmm. Sold a second time? Yes, Gabe Rat. It's just forever going to be sold. Yeah, hard snow, wow. This is actually a tough winter for us. It's a fairly warm area where we are, but this has been a very cold winter. I blame climate change. So Self harm. Scave Rat has slit his wrist and is hiding in his room. Happened poor mood, ambrosia withdrawal. Scave Rat! What are you doing, man? It's whiskey and chocolate. Holy crap. I have not an Apple TV subscription yet. I'm gonna consider doing that. I still wanna watch freaking uh, the, the football movie. Um, maybe I should join the, the, the party and cancel Netflix for a little while. Uh, we got whiskey and chocolate. Where's my window here for this? It's from Wimey! Hey Wimey, thank you very much. Two cats are having a swimming race. One is called one, two, three. The other, un, deux, trois. Which cat won? One, two, three, because un, deux, trois, cat sank. I've heard another joke with the same punchline, but a different setup before. And it's great because it's a, I like jokes that work only if you're bilingual. <laughs> this joke requires you to know two languages. Admittedly, you don't have to, you don't have to know uh, French very well for that one. Just, you know, five basic numbers, but still. Mm -hmm. Tweaks galore, uh, resource setting a lot of stack well stone chunks. Cool, I'm not doing any of that right now, but I have done it before. I, we've In the past, we've even run, uh, there's another mod like Ogre Stack or something like that that lets you change the stack size of things. I mean, I, that's different than the stone chunks, admittedly. But, and it is quite handy because it's it is like ridiculous how much space you need for stockpiling. So sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Sort of depends on other things, you know? It's like, well, that'll make my life a little easier, so am I playing a game that makes it harder? Right now, we're making it harder with uh, by not having that and by needing the hygiene stuff. And um, in the last episode, when we added the hygiene, I lowered the game difficulty ever so slightly. And I'm liking the balance right now. It's really, we're really focused on the management aspect of things rather than having to defend against big hard raids. Petra Coalition. Petra? Petra. Oh, good trader. Well. That's interesting. Yeah, big stack's another one. It's like ogre stack, big stack. There's actually a few mods that uh, tweak the stack size. So it turns out it's a common request. And Jay, I'm gonna do a convert. I, oh, banana sleeping. I mean, they don't have anything to do in their rooms but sleep. I'm torn. Do I play CK3 Motorsport Manager Slay the Spire City Skyline? I know it's a hard world we live in with so many great options, isn't it? <laughs> it's tough. Okay, we got a bunch of money. I could be buying more comp. Oh no, I can't. They're only buying it from me. Synth thread, double strand, no. Sell some dog leather. 
I'm gonna sell some Ambrosia, otherwise our addicted person might grab it if they get recruited and reset that, which we don't want to do. We'll sell some clothes. I don't think I really need anything from these guys. Okay, animals, meats, cloth, leathers, herbal medicine, we've got tons of, wood, clownfish. Oh, that's just meat we can get. And yeah, they don't buy slaves. Otherwise... Sorry, quad monitor? Do they have a quad monitor for sale? I don't see it. Oh, okay. The precept that lets your pawns automatically convert others is caused proselytizing, but requires you to have the proselytizer meme. Okay. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of our people starting to, like, proselytize the... the wonder that is the company you know again maybe the company hasn't contacted us because we're not we're not doing enough marketing for them and maybe that's what we should be doing kind of like that idea all right we're gonna get rid of the uh, old stone cutters thing but we're gonna build an electric one instead actually i'm gonna get rid of the dining chair we'll try to replace it with one that's at least good anyway life of cookie dementia one of our dogs has dementia Oh, she is 14. Oh, life of the cookie. Aw. That's okay, honey. That's all right. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Didn't I just research electric stone cutting? Do I have two mods adding electric stone cutting? One that just gives it to me immediately and one that needs it as a tech? This is already electric. Didn't I just research electric stone cutting? I think I did. Wait, electric butcher. Hmm. What do you mean I don't have steel? Have I burned through all my steel? Holy crap. Oh, the turrets. Yeah, but still. Oh, you saw two electric stone cutter icons? Okay. There's this one. Oh, and this one. And they have different art. And different electrical usage. Yeah, I have two mods acting, act, adding electric stone cutters. I'd like to get rid of the one that doesn't require research. Or maybe they both needed research. They're just in different places in the tree. I think you can get a mod that tells you what mod things are from. Because I don't think that's built in. Source, electric stone cutting. And this one. Vanilla furniture expanded. Okay, so I can get rid of the standalone um, electric stone cutting mods if I'm keeping vanilla furniture expanded. Because the thing is, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't run vanilla furniture expanded. Wait, do you need a standing spot? Oh shit, I didn't need realize the sink had a stand spot. That doesn't sound... Well, I guess you can use it to wash yourself. Maybe I'll do that. I do want to rearrange the kitchen at some point. Actually, because what I can do is I can do this, and then I can do that. That would look okay. Yeah, the thing is, I like the steel walls for their look, but... I, I guess... Well, I guess we are going to focus on uh, a little bit more stone now. Because, yeah, this was all steel. And I like the, like, the idea of it, but then over here I'm like, well, I guess I'll use some granite. Yeah, we'll just have to try to use more blocks for things. I don't have the quarry mod, although it would make a lot of sense for this one. Well, quarry gives you more blocks, right? We can also just put down a little mining spots. We'll probably do more of this. I don't know if I have the, like, mods that, like, return more material. Tweaks Galore might give you that. Yeah. Oh! Actually, I got the turn on. Full deconstructor turn is enabled? Oh, well. Alright. So I can deconstruct the steel walls and get all the steel back. We'll consider it! And I guess with the replace mod, I could literally just replace in place as well. Replace in place? Sure. Or is fun. Block steel sometimes even... Really? Hmm. 
I have a permanent quarry locations? That's not decent. I guess we'll build some more wooden doors for now then. I do want everything to be steel later though. Life of the cookies confused again. Oh, poor puppy. Poor puppy. Core's a bit OP. Removes the need for deep miners. Well, that's what I figured by the sound of it. I'm like, I guess you build that instead of deep miners. The thing is, deep miners are fairly slow. A lot of work. Oh, wait, release has gone up in level. Killing Wymy. Wymy the donkey. <laughs> a quarry with two decent construction robots working is really nice. I don't know. Yeah, when we can get the robotics up, that's going to be a lot of fun. Jay, are you in a not great mood, Jay? Recreation starved. What if we've unlocked any new recreation? Well, I guess we've got a few available. Um, yeah, you know what? This is our little commoner room. Let's get a billiards table. And well, let's just start with that. Sewage slug composting. Mmm, how exciting. Biosolids, boost to train fertility. Okay, and then we'll do the septic tank next. Jay, you're cleaning dirt. I'm gonna get you to prioritize building this uh, billiards table since you are starved for entertainment right now. Let's see what we can do about that. No, I don't have any pack animals right now. You bring light in as pregnant. Wow, you've been pregnant a lot, you bring light in. All in wood. I'm also starved. The only solution is Steve from accounting. <laughs> Anyone got a phone charger for my intern pod? <laughs> I love the conversations happening over here. Oh my god, this Twitch chat mod is the best. We have lots of sleeping spots. I have a ton over here, for example. Plus some that are in the rooms. Okay, I know you need to use the toilet, but while Banana's awake, let's go ahead and try to use the convert action here. Oh, 28. It's hard, but it's working. Who's got the break risk? Oh, it's Jay, yeah. Right, maybe I should have let you use your toilet. Oh, you can use this one, this unowned room. So we do have a spare room. Hang on. Well, I guess I just do... Suits in. There you go. Good. And then, oh yeah, these, this stuff has to be linked. And then, yeah, that leaks the rest of it. That is quite handy. Major break risk. Are these linked? That's linked. That's linked. And that's linked. Jay, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, go sleep. Yeah, the recreation starve is pretty bad. But you've got a new a new source of recreation now, and I'm gonna work on the poker table. Or rather, you're gonna work on the poker table. So we'll get a little bit more options. Well, the conversion ritual's down for like 14 days, right? So 12 more days now, so we can't run that quite yet. I, I would not be surprised if Scave Rat gets sold to slavers. Oh yeah, we don't actually have internal heat over here. You know, let's um, let's work on that. I don't think they're gonna need much. Connecting, right? You and you are connected. You and you are connected. You two are connected. You two are connected. You two are connected. Okay. Maybe I've got a pair of heaters. That's nice, nice little heater next to the toilet over here. It's getting really nice and warm and toasty when you're doing your business. Oh, do, wait, am I running central heating? Hmm. I guess I do have radiators. Towel? Impressive bathroom towel rail. Does it work as a radiator? Or does it just look nice? It's in the temperature thing.
Get attack. The decoration only. Okay. Let's get a couple of radiators. <gasps> a flu! Six animals have the flu! Oh no! Okay, they've got sleep spots. We've got doctors. We actually have three doctors now, which is wonderful. Eats the towel for a mood buff. Wait, does it seriously give a mood buff? Hang on. Let's plan a little thing. Let's... Okay, we're going to need radiators. Let's get a couple anyway. And then I'm going to build one towel rack right here. And then see what it does. I suppose I should build it in uh, Paula's room because otherwise she's going to get jealous. Because she's jealous. Most prioritize the dogs, most loyal workers, they never complain. That's true. I think they're going to be fine. I think they're going to be fine. And yeah, we're just going to be building a regular old stockpile over here. Which I'm not going to designate yet because we still need that mined out. Juna. I'm going to get you to prioritize my, that. Oh, you're probably like a million miles away. Oh, you were just mining over here. Okay. Just go and take care of this little corner over here. There we go. Because otherwise I was going to have to redo the stockpile later on. Okay. Good stuff. Not that we were out of room here, but nearly so. As long as they're tending, they're okay. Yeah. I mean, the flu might not even kill the dogs. Oh, I hope I can walk through this tile. Radiators are walkable. Still, it might have looked a little silly. I don't know. Kind of okay with it. Yeah, I guess that looks fine. Okay, compensated warfare I'm not interested in. You can go away. What you up to, Jay? Playing chess. Good, you needed some recreation. Paul's playing there. They're having a conversation with one another. Good stuff. You're going to try to convert Scave Rat? Oh, they're down to 60%. I mean, it's progressing. It's progressing. Your radiator in your walkway sounds like burn hat. Yeah, it's true. You're going to be constantly brushing up against the radiator every time. Oh, attending a meeting. So you go to Jay Lass's room. You go to the mayor's room to have a meeting. Barbara, voice support for the mayor. Excellent. Does that give a mood boost? Oh, you wait. You need an office. Oh. You can get hydro workers. Because we harvest you, then we can plant you somewhere and get dry, sorry, dryad workers. Let's consider that. Mayoral office. It feels like it should be like here. Near the front. Great office from the table, yeah, but I feel like it should be a an actual office looking room. Unless this just becomes part of the office. Got filing cabinets and stuff. Yeah, maybe I'll just do this. Nice if we had an actual office chair. Yeah, I mean, we've got the management desk, and we'll have this over here. I mean, people will probably eat meals here, but then it feels like, you know, you can sit and have a chat with the manager. And even though it's going to eat a bunch of our time, I'm going to put a smooth surface... Oh, I've already smoothed this room. Okay, cool. I knew I'd smooth the walls. I hadn't realized I'd smooth the floor. Yeah, I don't know how much space we need for the tree, but we could figure out a spot for it. It's whiskey and chocolate. Whiskey and chocolate? Oh, I have too many tabs open. Oh, mining B PR bail again. Thank you. We are strongly advised against changes in the room. Standard... Only is the corporate way. Every deviation promotes individuality, and individuality is the first step to unionization. The enemy of every loving corporation. That's true. We have to be very, very definitely anti-union. We also have to tell people that they're not allowed to discuss their salaries, even though that's actually illegal in most places everywhere. But we make it a fireable offense to discuss salaries because most people don't know their rights. Very important. 
Oh yeah, um, the uh, the power is, is there because we wanted it to, we needed it done earlier because the walls hadn't been smoothed yet, but now that it's smooth, let's go ahead and run the power over there and then we can get rid of this ugly power line. <laughs> I like that by default, the pipes get hidden if they're under a floor, which I think might include smooth tiles. It'd be nice if the power conduits did the same thing. Salary, you pay these people? Of course, I mean, they're not slaves, they're valued employees. It literally says the word valued employees on their contract. Um, right, this is allowing, okay. copy settings, paste settings, there we go. No, because we don't need the steel stored in here, that can be stored outside. Masterwork dining table, yeah! Or dining chair. Yeah, well that's all right. It's art, it's got a title. The furniture is engraved with the image of a gazelle eating a cabbage. And what is a cabbage if not for a very large Brussels sprout? The work is infused with the idea of depression. <laughs> and it is done in a symbolic style. Though few would expect it, the scene takes place inside a district built near a valley. <laughs> Septic tanks, go! <laughs> All right, let me um, plan a little bit more. Let me just carve out a little bit of this area here. Okay, hygiene. Biosolids composter. Composter for turning sewage into fertilizer. Increase in the fertility of diggable terrain. Uh-huh. Septic tank. Slowly clean sewage over time. Sewage is directed to septic tanks first. If it reaches full capacity, excess sewage is sent to the sewage outlets. Okay. So we fill this up and then it slowly becomes something useful. So the biosolids composter I'm betting is for the fecal sludge. So I'm, I'm betting we don't need both in the long run, but we've got some of this fecal sludge, so we may as well do it. What is this? A water, still water, but used for plumb fixtures. If the, con if the contaminated water becomes contaminated, the tank must be drained. Yeah, we still don't have um, water filters, but I guess that's going to have to be okay. Well, let's put one first. Okay. Oh, the psychiatric mod is great. I mean, it hardly makes a change, but it adds just a little extra detail. You want that and you want the chat bubble mod, which are which is something else. You want both those. It just makes your people, your pawns feel much more real. Hey, haul 999. Great stuff. Penguin bloke is gonna be helping us haul. All right, you're gonna need some power. Oh, what I should do actually is order some smoothing all the way around and then down there as well. Okay. Yeah, we have tons of hot water tanks, maybe more than we need. I don't know. We might need more pumps later, but right now we're good on everything. Crisis of belief, banana cabana. Wait. He now believes in Neo-Justice? He switched to another religion. Which sets at 50% certainty. But at least this one here isn't, uh, um, isn't hard to convert. It's slightly annoying. But wow, how's Gaverat doing? 57%. Yeah, it is easier to convert, but he was down low. Anyone got Ambrosia? No one gives Gaverat any Ambrosia. See, we're here for the uh, for the health and safety of all our employees. We encourage them not to indulge in addictive substances, at least not any of them that haven't been given to them by the corporation to ensure greater loyalty. It'd be really funny if we can get just get everyone addicted to Luciferium. That's that's our employee retention program. Get everyone addicted to Lucy. Wow. Can we produce Lucy? Or is that just something you buy slash find? Mm. Skaverat has paranoia. Oh, he just lost some certainty from it. Absorbed by paranoid babbling. Happened because of poor mood. Hideous environment. Well, I can't imagine why. 
Time for some Maki rolls. You fools! Your puppets on strings! Vanilla Lucy is bought, but a Tweaks mod, which I think you have, makes it producible. Oh, does Tweaks the lore make it producible? Because that becomes really interesting all of a sudden as a concept, you know? Yeah, I'm going to slow the game speed down a bit while I eat my sushi. A little bit of wasabi. All right, colored horseradish, but still. Thanks, Boba. Is my dog still there? Oh, Penguin, yeah! We just saw you. You just got trained into hauling. You're 99 hauling, so you're now helpful. I have had real wasabi. A long time ago, when sushi wasn't quite as, like, everywhere, and places weren't competing to just be the cheapest sushi around. Every sushi place seemed to have proper wasabi. And yeah, it, like, oof, right up your nose. It's great. Which one was the pregnant dementia dog? Life of the cookie. Still pregnant. Still has dementia. I wonder if we can give um give the dogs like a robo brain. I think I think you need a mod to have animal prosthetics. Pregnant dementia ban. Or pregnant dementia dog. Great band name. I agree. Robo dog sounds awesome. Rex. Oh, Millennial Prof, exactly. Fallout New Vegas. Great little companion. Why is it zooming in when I'm holding down the middle mouse button? Weird. Just use the arrow keys. Okay, that's all done. We're gonna have more workshops. Digging out these bedrooms, which turned out we didn't need quite yet. A miserable place will be our tomb! I'm wasting my time, you're all blind and deaf! Oh, Scave Rat's really having a thing. God damn it, if the lightning could stop killing my plants, I'd love it. You know what's crazy? With all the tech we have, we can't build lightning rods. What's up with that? You know? Oh, it's a different mod. Evil Tactician's Tweaks. Okay. Slowly ripping away with its floor. Uh, that's too bad. It's rough slate under there. I wonder if we can get some soil back on this just to have more of a uh, growing area for our critters. Yeah, because there's actually not enough nutrition in here. We could supplement their nutrition with a little bit of hay. Seems like a relatively decent idea. Do eat quite a lot? Do they eat like pigs? They have a solar flare, so we lose our power? What the hell, man? Watch us get attacked now.
Subs from Parduk. Thank you very much, Parduk. I'm store some kibble and hay over there. I don't think the animal sleeping spots contribute to who gets ill. I think it's just completely random. Because it was hitting our dogs that have sleep spots in people's rooms, you know? Mm. Oh, pig loving. Yeah, we could plant hay here. The problem is, then the animals keep eating it. We're just like constantly having to plant cycle, which I hate. It's the same reason I don't do the day lily thing. Give food, please. I just hate that it occupies someone so much. I'd rather let the hay get to full size in a normal field and then deploy it. You know? There you go. They have a little barn now. So that's nice. Watch a lightning hit Niriata here and explode. <laughs> I do have it set so that anything that's not like, you know, the grass or the bushes or whatever does get cut down. Now, it probably didn't help that we just got through winter, which was, I'm sure, impacting some of the, um, some of the growth. Oh yeah, plant floor, or hay floor, thank you. I forgot about that. And I think I need to grow more hay as well. But yeah, uh, floors, stray, straw matting. Maybe under the door as well. What I think I'm going to do is make a new growing zone over here with lots of hay. I suspect actually a lot of the growing stuff that's outside right now, when we do get our hydroponics going, is just going to, we're just probably going to get thinned down and mostly be a lot of hay and stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> Well, that was delicious. Thank you again, Boba. <laughs> it's actually, my birthday is in uh, seven days. And my request for my birthday dinner is just a bunch of sushi. I just love it so much. If it wasn't for the fact that COVID is still a thing, we'd go to a sushi place. But we'll just order in. <laughs> Cut down. Yes, that's the other thing. There's all these trees and stuff in the cover. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Oh, yeah, that one just barely covers that corner, which is fine. Oh, another party. All right, that's fine. Hopefully it's not a boring one. Um, but yeah, getting rid of the trees and stuff wouldn't be a terrible idea. One thing I could do to keep it permanently gone is just pave over this whole area. Which, maybe... First, I'm going to set up a harvest fully grown for anything that's in here. Let's do that first. But yeah, I might just pave over this whole thing. Private Paula. Tried to convert Paula. Didn't work out. Flu. Skaverat's got the flu. Have you been kissing a dog, Skaverat? Mm -hmm. Here's on 26th. Oh, nice. Well, happy pre-birthday, Tubbs. For your birthday, you are going to get... Galactic Civilization 4 released it. <laughs> can only get sushi from my local supermarket. Yeah, and I mean, it can be fine. It's not great. But the thing is, kind of lame sushi is usually okay. Unless it's been sitting around so long that the rice has really gotten kind of stale. That's disappointing. Because really, the, the value of sushi is from the rice. Insert something something about sushi meaning rice, etc. Mm -hmm. I want it just like slightly seasoned with the... Uh, is it mirin that they use? You know? Mm -hmm. Miss living in Hawaii and gas station sushi was safe. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, the thing is a lot of like the gas station or grocery store sushi is fine because most of it doesn't use raw fish, right? Like they'll offer California rolls, which is fine. But some of them will have the raw fish stuff. Nah, yeah, it could be a little dice here. Uh, we just killed a random squirrel here. Apple while the squirrel has died. Uh, Tross just walked through a trap or Tro95 into our base. We might have to do your sleep. Drafted hunt. There we are. Unrecruit, unforbid, and I saw that the cooldown is up here. Let's run a convert on, oh, never mind, you're asleep. Oh, you can do it on Scave Rat. <clears throat> I've seen Futurama, G gas station food is good for you. Makes you super smart. Thirty-nine percent. It's falling. We'll get you there. How you doing, Banana Cabana? Great if you had another Crisis of Faith. Thirty-seven percent. All right. Oh, it's a track. What you used to be? That's interesting. Formerly Loyal Party. Oh. That's oh, cold snap. Can we get through this stupid ass winter? So we do have to get some hydroponics going. Oh yeah, what is this gonna do? Sewage treatment. Large sewage treatment system. Large amounts of sewage, fast treatment. Okay, so it's faster than the other thing, uh, the uh, than the septic tanks. All right, treating 50 liters a day. You're currently holding 50 liters, 10%. Okay. So I'm still thinking I'm gonna build one of these biosolids composters. I bet you it doesn't even need plumbing, but I'll build it over here near this. Oh yeah, hypo oh yeah, that's right. We ah, well, this hasn't been smoothed yet. I guess. Actually, hang on. Smooth that, then that. Should, well, it's going to be too late, but I'm like, oh, I should have actually set a harvest command on all of this stuff. Yeah, even if it's not fully grown, just harvest whatever you can. Yeah, I know you're getting your meal, but... Let's move the rest of this so we can get some power coming through here. Okay, go eat your meal or whatever. <clears throat> uh... We're gonna get a, I'm gonna get a, just an actual heater here. That's gonna be fine. And then over the wall vents here and here. You eat your meal. Good. Uh, you're gonna try to convert. I'm actually gonna prioritize the heater there, buddy. Wow, it's really cold. At least these guys have clothes on. You know, that's something. Yeah, it was an egg sandwich in Futurama, you're right. Oh, you're gonna do the convert. Okay, well, that sort of worked. Oops. Yeah. Oh, someone's already doing it. That's what was confusing me. Of course, these vents don't do anything until we've got the heater set up. There we go. I'm just gonna set this to 18 degrees because it doesn't really need to be any hotter than that. There we go. Oh, it's still quite chilly in there. Wow. I think the temperature is really leaking out of these. Wow. Look at the temperature. 11, 15, 12 degrees, 17 degrees. The temperature is fluctuating wildly. Hopefully it's enough to kill the hypothermia, but that is not stable temperature. I guess because the rooms are so small. I might want to go and get a hallway over here to help retain the temperature. Tiny rooms do that in RimWorld. Yeah, I've never seen that. Oh, yeah. Oh, they got clean because they got turned into home zones. Because we smoothed the tiles. Going for poor mood. You want to just warm enough they don't get hypothermia. You're right. We do want them to have the slept in the cold modifier. You're absolutely right. How's your Neo Justice? 34%. Mm -hmm. 
and then we can't run this. No, not for six more days, the conversion ritual. All right, we got a handful of guns. Group of travelers, that's fine. Okay. Oh, there you go. You see, filling this. Oh, this needs to be warm. I should put it in the prisoner room. Well, you know what? I'm just going to put it in this hallway. This is where we'll process the bio sludge. That makes sense. Because it is, you're using bacteria to break down the bio sludge. <clears throat> that makes a ton of sense. Jay's up. Here, do this. You can consume a fine meal afterwards. Jay gets so overworked. I could put like level four priority construction on everyone so that for like calling things like this, they can just do it. There you go. Temperature. Oh, it's even having a hard time maintaining the temperature here. I guess because of these rooms. Wow. Bass Lodge sounds like a cool industrial band name. Thanks, Cave Rat. No, we don't need plumbing for the uh, composters. Diplomacy. Eric Nitro Nystrom, Divine General of Hadio, sent his message. Wants to talk, but in a nearby location. Good opportunity to improve relations. Receive gifts. Oh, yeah! Operations Manager Borbara will get a bonus to the chance of successful outcome. Let's totally send Borbara. I'm sure it's fine. And not a trap. Borbra. So it's 0.8 days to get there. You'll have three days worth of food. I mean, you'll, there's going to be a meeting as well. But that's probably fine. Actually, I'm going to um, not bring any medicine, and we'll bring one more unit of food. Who won't bring Akbar? impression just in case you're suggesting somehow this will be a trap oh wow that woke up borbara being added to a caravan i thought nothing could wake him up life of the cookie just gave birth oh mm -hmm. think i should bring medicine oh well too late now in case of bleedings i'm sure there won't be any injuries it's gonna be fine hmm I have slate? No. Still have granite. This will give us more prisoner security anyway. So diagonal walls do count as complete walls, but they look stupid. So I'm going to do this instead. Just as a way to help stabilize the temperature over here. <clears throat> He's not a goods trader. Trade ship. Well, I guess we'll have to use Jay to uh, negotiate since Borbara is gone. Hey, we have another skate rat over here, a pig. Could get a pack animal, the dromedary. The tromine to make drugs. I'm gonna buy components and advanced components. God, they're expensive, but definitely worthwhile. Oh, we have nothing to sell these guys. Polar base station. Yeah, we got we got critters for that. Tech prints. Mostly we need the components right now. Yeah, no, I know skate rats are pig. Yeah, no, that's, I, that's, sorry if I wasn't clear about that. I did recognize it's we have a pig named Skate Rat here. In addition to our prisoner. Telescope for fun. That's not even that expensive. You're right. Heck, I suppose we could get the radio. I don't know if we can build the radio. Probably we can, because it's part of an... But I don't think we can build a telescope. Let's buy a telescope. Maybe we can, but... As long as you don't sell the pig. Mm -hmm. So we'll reinstall you... I think just here is fine. We're not going to be using this space for anything else. So that's going to be okay. Well, three's... You got decent construction? Oh, yeah, you do. And actually, you do construct over, like, everything else, basically. So, no, okay, we have two constructors, effectively. Well, that's good. I 
him handy AF. That's right. Telescope is searching for the company supply ship. I like it. I like it a lot. That makes perfect sense. So this, hopefully, is going to be much more temperature stable. Oh, banana's paranoid now. Final snap. Chemical starvation. Wait. Are you a druggie? Oh, yeah. Chemical fascination. Hmm. We better start growing some pot, then. Oh, yeah. Jade. And more jade. Peace talks were a triumph. We got a shield belt. Nice. And 600 social experience, which is nice. Okay. I think Hadio, one of the people we have the war with, their relations will go up by 100. That's amazing. Okay, we do have some hungry pan animals. Maybe we should sell some of the critters. Because, yeah, we don't have... Um... Like this. Oh, okay. Let's make this preferred. So now the kibble should get brought out to the um, to the animal pens. That'll help. Yeah, there you go. Oh no, hold on. We make this preferred, make this important, and then we'll make these critical then. Okay. This beacon needs power, yeah. We're waiting to smooth out the walls to be able to route power over there. It's not critical that this area is not covered by the trade beacon currently. Okay, so now we do have the cold snap, which is part of it. Three degrees. It's still... Okay, at least this place is stable. Stable enough that the temperature here is mostly going to be okay. I might, I might keep it a couple of degrees hotter here just to give it a bit more of a buffer. There we go. So that's now going to process okay. I'm not going to build any more of these. This is just to, co to convert over the fecal sludge that we've currently got. Because theoretically, we won't be producing any more. Uh, at some point, the septic tank is going to fill up. But we are currently researching sewage treatment, which will do it a little bit faster. Oh, and then I'm going to want sterile materials. That's going to be really handy. Or was clearly taking liberties with the company trip. Oh, yeah, he's having a nap. You can get the, uh, he wasn't close enough. I have a mod running almost there. When a caravan's four hours away from home, then they won't stop to sleep because it's stupid. Okay, we do have kibble over here. When the animals wake up, they're going to have, there you go, kibbles and hay available to them. So that's going to help. You bring line in, gave birth. Banana command has passed their paranoia. Or that's what they want us to think. No convert button. How you doing? The oil party, 24%. Wow, he's losing loyalty there. Neo Justice, 25%. No button, no conversion ritual yet, but soon. That's it for my water. You know what? Actually, I think I want a soda. Mm -hmm. Oh! I didn't send him to return. Thank you. I forgot about that. After the peace talks ended. Derp. Who's your planter? Our planter, we've actually got three people with planting skill. Quite a few. Private Paula is probably the best example because that's literally her primary task. Right now she's doing cleaning over here, which is interesting. Oh, it's cold snap. So there's no planting happening because there's a cold snap. Although I think it's just ended. So in theory, if I recruit and unrecruit Paula, Oh, she's still going to clean over here. Really? Oh, bad seasonal temperature. I mean, it's now 2nd of April, May. It seems warm enough. The cold snap is over. There we go. Growing season here now. Sewing area. Yep, there it is. Maybe it just hadn't um, updated from the end of the cold snap yet. Maybe it only uh, checks every few hours. Or once a day or something like that. See if there's a valid temperature. Yes, I know. Just just talked about this. We were just waiting for smooth rocks to run power over here. Before we have that. I could force a smooth stone, but... Psh. 
and this trade beacon doesn't actually have anything of value, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Just answer that question like two minutes ago, I think. Don't, don't give me up arrows in chat, Jazium. You up arrow in the VOD or something. That, that doesn't make sense. No, you don't make sense. <laughs> We're about three hours into the stream, so this is about the time when I start losing my mind. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna have a little Coke Zero. They changed the branding on Coke Zero here. Whoa! Three's about to have a real bad day. A real bad day. Um. Anyway, I was going to say, they changed the branding on Coke Zero. It's now Coke Zero Sugar instead of Coke Zero. I don't know why. I know, like, the whole idea with Coke Zero as opposed to, like, you know, Coke Light or Diet Coke or anything is to, like, appeal to manly men who don't want to drink a diet drink because diet drinks are for girls. Just so stupid. Although I do have to say Coke Zero is a pretty good name. So I have to assume that Coke Zero Sugar instead is part of that same kind of effort. Which is dumb, because I actually like the name Coke Zero, and I'm mad that it's not the same thing. Unless they're supposed to be two different products, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Alright, um... Well... Everyone up! And, uh... Well, let, let's just get outside. Three, get out of there. Oh, uh, good morning! <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna have time to sort them and sort ourselves out before they actually uh, start their shit. They're gonna have to smash. Oh, they only got melee weapons? Four of them? Oh, they got just got renamed. It's Bunisher, another Private Paula, Blood Dragon, and Bedinsis over here. They're gonna set some shit on fire. I, oh, I hope I hope the heater explodes and kills them. And actually, they have to bash their way through a steel door. I wonder how hot it's getting in there. Oh, it's unroofed. Oh, it smashed the roof when they landed, of course. Private Paul, you don't actually have a primary weapon. I didn't realize you only had a melee weapon. You're not a brawler, are you? No. I mean, you're only good at melee, but still. Yeah, for, that's what you get for not buying me as a sheep. Penguin Bulk, why are you here? Are you... Yep. You're not actually a bonded animal, so don't follow people who are... Um, drafted, please. How hot? Oh, yeah. No, again, no roof, so it's not going to get hot in there. This might still explode. Die, door, die! <laughs> die, Bidensis, die! Are you going to switch to your melee weapons? They're not switching to their melee weapons! Oh, you don't have a melee weapon. Jay does. Do I have to do this? I'll just step back. Go back to... Could you maybe shoot this one? So you don't shoot through Ape Release? Oh, there you go. Three changed to a melee weapon. Is there anyone... Private Paul is dead. Bedinsis is bleeding. Oh yeah, and then Bunisher is dead. Okay. <clears throat> Bedinsis. You listen. <laughs> okay, the nose and the toe doesn't matter, I suppose. And I guess you can live with just one kidney. Although that's gonna hurt your filtration a lot. Hard worker, body purist, teetotaler. Hmm. Pretty messed up. How's Blood Dragon? Losing a leg. Another hard worker. And a passion for mining? Well, listen. Okay, first of all, we're gonna, yeah. Prisoner medical. That's prisoner medical. The prisoner bed over there. Let's try capturing them. Help, help. This says banana. No help for you. Bed was destroyed. Oh, yeah. You gotta put out the fire.
There we go. A couple of colonists need treatment, but they're going to go and get that. We need Borber back for the doctor. I mean, you are actually coming back now, right? I didn't... Yeah. I'll be resting. Just get up. Get your ass over here. <clears throat> you have like a tattoo on your forehead? Blood dragon? Uh, the problem is our doctors are self-injured. Hang on. Um... Remind me of where the self-treat is. Oh, it's on their own tab, right? Self-tend. Self-tend. Oh, you're not you're not the doctor. You're the doctor. Okay. Reset. Reset. No, no, you've gotta go go rest. And we'll get three to treat you. The Dinsus has died from blood loss. Well, listen, that that's your own stupid ass fault for attacking my doctors. It's pro tip, when you're gonna launch a raid against an enemy and you think you might get injured, don't hurt their doctors. And Blood Dragon has also died. Yep, oh well. Oh, Psyche Drone, that's annoying. Scaver at Spirits is broken, Force Question everything. Now believes in true ranchism. God damn it! Why did he keep flipping to the wrong religion? Let's finish the conversation. Okay, certainty 40. Let's use the convert action, certainty 21. God damn it. Toilet medical, It's a, it was a bedpan, I think. I think it was a bedpan. Branch of superior salad dressing. Caesar dressing is the best. All hail Caesar. Ave Caesar. A caravan is right. Oh, Borbor's back. All right, good. He's gonna come back. It's gonna be it's the community meme, right? Where you're like, where Troy's coming back in the room with the pizza and everything's on fire. That's exactly what's happening with Borbor's return here. Conversion rituals, not yet. Three more days. Soon. Mm -hmm. Well, and yeah, oil and vinegar. It's pretty good dressing. Deconstruct the airlock on the dining room. Well, that's true. Get back a little bit of material. And minimize transportation time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oil and vinegar is really good too. Mm -hmm. Depends on what it is. To me, if it's like, just like a salad with just a lot of really good vegetables, oil and vinegar. But if I'm doing something where like, with like chicken or bacon and things like that, then it's different. Cause that's more like salad as a meal. Like to me, a Caesar salad is like salad as a meal. Mm -hmm. Now you want salt and vinegar chips? Salt and vinegar is excellent. They do have a chess table. They've had a chess table forever, right over there. And just more recently, they've got a billiards table and a poker table. Hey, level 13 in plants, 16% certainty. All right, we're getting close. We are gonna need uh, these bedrooms here uh, ready for our newer intern soon. I'm actually gonna reinstall this oh, right there to give me room to put some plumbing. It's whiskey and chocolate. Whiskey and chocolate. Red and kitchen table have no heating. What? Who? I'm saying there's no heating in this room. Yeah, that's. I mean, I don't know if that's a problem so much. MJ, thank you very much. What did Caesar say after a successful date? Vidi, Vici, Veni. Ah! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! I saw, I conquered, I came. Right? Did I read that right? Yeah. Terrible. Terrible! Na 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 na. Private Paul, where are you going? You're cutting dandelions over here. You know what? I could maybe turn off the auto cut. I'm just turn it back on later. Or, you know what? Dandelions are fine, actually. Keep dandelions. Who cares about that? The animals will eat dandelions. 
We just want to cut down trees. Because we need the grasses over here. Dandelions are fine. How are you doing, Cabana? 7% certainty! It's starting to happen! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Conversion! JLAS, I tried to convert Skaver Rat. Skaver Rat was convinced and changed that. Idea. He just had a crisis of a uh, thing not very long ago. All right, so now you are going to be recruited. And I guess what I'm going to do is forbid this, make this into a non medical bed, and change this to. I mean, I can just deconstruct it or something, but for convenience, we're going to do this. And then we're going to tell. How, how did Borbo just get naked? Oh, because you're in the shower! Okay. And. This guy about to bet. Prioritize taking to bed scave rat, comma, abandoned. I can employ a discount. Well, you get company script, is how you get paid. Alright, so you're going to. Um, this is going to be a little awkward for a second, but. Uh, yeah. Maybe I should, you know what, let's, uh, <clears throat> let's just, uh, do an urgent hauling on a couple of these bed bodies over here. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Animal filth. Where? Oh, it went away. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Do I, I might have a, a tile incorrectly set somewhere that's generating some animal filth. I don't think the dogs should be doing it. What's that smell? Yeah, it's pretty messy in there. Well, um, who's nearby? Barbara? Come over here and clean. Stay out. Yeah, no, just pay no attention. Everything's everything's okay here. So let's ignore all that. There you go. Now you got a nicer room, right? Oh, we've got the low psychic drone. You're I think you are filthy, but you got a shower now. Cramped in tears, that's true. I was thinking I was I think I was talking about like merging these rooms together. Or I could just dig them a little deeper to make them bigger. That could be something as well. I mean they don't have to be perfect rooms. As long as they're halfway decent, it'll help the conversion. If you have a spare corpse, I'll eat it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right, you're a cannibal. I forgot about that. Hmm. Oh yeah, he just had a shower and he's gonna go clean up blood. Yeah, he'll need another shower after that. Hey, the walls are smoothed. Let's run some power over here so we can stop being told that we don't have a power connection over here. Which admittedly is also really annoying. And it is really important that you guys tell me when something's not connected because it's easy to miss. Um, yeah, you need, I don't think it'll reach the edge. I think we do have to put it in a little bit. I don't know if it has to go in that far. Mm -hmm. Like some hauling stuff. New bedrooms are starting to get dug out. Quest available for a bandit lair. I don't think we're interested in doing that. I mean, only three tribes people, not very much, though. Shield belt. There's Jade. Huh. You only need one block in. Yeah, maybe, huh? One, two. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll build the one and we'll see if it connects. Is this clogged? Yeah, people keep blocking the sink. Power claw, armor skin gland. Now nah, there is some pretty cool stuff in there, isn't there? <clears throat> friendly fire is five tiles for allies. So wait, as long as you're within five tiles, you can't friendly fire? That's pretty generous. I thought it was like basically adjacent. A few items trade. Okay, so it's not a trade caravan. But who's coming to visit us? Zanguini, Ribeye, Jazeem, and R-Type. Oh, and Bonisher. <laughs> Resistant dropping, low opinion. Well, hopefully that'll improve. The claw! All right, people want us to get the claw. So, hmm. I'm gonna leave Jay and Borbara behind and maybe take everyone else. No one, hey, thank you. This is a weird skin for Dwarf Fortress. What happened to the Z levels? <laughs> we just didn't want to dig too deeply or greedily. Yeah, claw and a shield belt is pretty good. Although the armor skin gland is nice. It does make them, yeah, kind of ugly and I think move slower. Yeah, but that is a lot of built-in defense. 
Power Claw. Is that a prosthetic? Yeah. This was natural hand for non-combat task. Angling this slows movement. All right, so it's interesting how some of them are times ninety percent and some are minus eight percent. Like they're just written differently, coded differently. I mean, this would work great as a pure melee person, right? You give them the belt and the power claw and go to town. I don't think you can mine with the claw. Like, you don't mine with the claw itself, but I think they can still do work. It says, you know, it's retractable, still usable as a regular hand. It, it is a pretty strong melee weapon. And we do have one person who has no shooting skill and a lot of melee skill. I don't know. I'm tempted by the armor skin gland. I'm, I'm we're, we're doing it. I'm just trying to decide between these two. Fuck it. Let's do the claw. All right. We got 19 days. Although I don't really see any reason to wait. You know what we don't have, though, is we don't have bed rolls. Prep some bed rolls. Oh yeah, and we did get that other shield belt. Yeah, I don't think anyone's wearing it. I don't know. Conversion. <gasps> yep, Banana finally decided to convert. Congratulations, Banana. Listen, you won't regret this. You're not allowed to regret, regret this, basically. Hey, Perlis, could you please go in? Oh, you're not assigned to warding. All right, well, we got Jay to do it as soon as he's done this. Oh, there you go. Already taken them. Perfect. Oh, that happens automatically. Huzzah! And recruit. Okay. And then since that's done, I'll go and put these sleeping spots back. And reflag them. Okay. No one there floor. Not for those rooms. Here we could floor this or something. We'll see. I'm just doing this as like a, a temperature regulator. Page two of company onboarding packet forbids regretting this. <laughs> All right, and yes, um, we'll get some hygiene stuff in this room. It doesn't have a table though. It does have a dresser. Rose sprout, versions, visitors, okay. So let's build the bedrolls and then we'll go. We'll go and attack. There's a convert recruit mod. Oh, so that it automatically, once the conversion is done, it flips them over to recruit. That actually would be very handy. Completely rubs his nose against the private Paula's hip. Aw, cute. Okay, so late planting because of that cold snap, which is really annoying. We gotta fix the flooring over here too. Although part of it is we need to, I think we're gonna be standardizing mostly on limestone. I was really thinking we we're gonna get a lot more slate. <gasps> Masterwork cloth bedroll, nice. Three, get the uh, roof fixed or the company pay for that. Hell. I mean, the company owns everything. But, you know, this is going to reflect poorly on his next evaluation. The fact that the room, the, the, the roof in his room was damaged. He's going to be like, buy invader. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, that's right. We get a description. Uh, no, apparently this does not get artwork stuff added to it. Don't know why, but yeah. Yes, uh, Niryada, you're still alive. The Boomalope is still alive, right there. You're being milked regularly. Congratulations. It's a weird thing to say to someone. <laughs> and yeah, not quite enough nutrition here, but we do have the extra stockpiling over there, so that's gonna be fine. And yeah, we got a lot more hay going, so that's gonna be fine too. Just a bit of a night cycle. Bit of poker, okay. Yeah, all right, and Sistian runs the, uh, oh my god, another flu. Weird darkness and scave rat. Um, Sistian uh, works at night because the idea is they could do some research, although I have that, they, they do mostly hauling and 
Well, now they're doing doctoring, but hauling and cleaning above research. I wonder if we should change that. Just bump up the researching to above the haul and clean. I mean, not you can't have both research. So when one's researching, the other one will do haul and clean. I mean, I'd rather have Borbara do it because they have the higher research skill right now. So it'd be nice to put like an individual priority. Like to let Borbara kick Sutsian out of the research lab. But that's not really an option. I suppose I could build two research things, but I don't really want to do that. Oh, it's, I think it's Gaver at the pig who's got the flu. Yeah, Skaver at the pig. Maybe we should butcher Skaver at the pig. Maybe we'll do that once Skaver at joins the colony. We'll butcher Skaver at the pig because it's too confusing. Or we'll keep them both because it's hilarious. Both options work pretty well. I guess we're going to be sending six people. The thing is, I don't actually think we've got enough. We might not have enough material for anything, everything, which might be why it's not there. Let me butcher the pig myself. <laughs> That's so weird. I love it. <laughs> nope, attending meeting. Oh, right. Hold on. I'm supposed to make this into the mayoral office. Herp a derp. I wonder if you get bad thoughts because the office has other things in it. Well, I wonder if we just have to wait for this to expire now. Yeah. Oh yeah, you love her, Barbara. You have married, you can share a room. Very impressive rec room, visited by constituents, squeaky clean. You got a lot of positive I guess that's one of the things with the um with the hygiene mod, is assuming they're getting their hygiene needs, they actually get a lot of positive buffs. Alright. Oh. Oh, it's only normal. You know what? I'm actually gonna cancel the deconstruction. Now I'm gonna uninstall these. So I had like minimum quality good, but for the bedrolls, maybe I won't care. I'm just gonna set up the five right now, even though we're gonna be sending out six people on this. I'm just gonna do the five bedrolls. Okay. Look at those dogs working so hard for us. Oh, such good dogs. I don't think, where's the reconnect power button? I guess it doesn't have that button because it can't actually reach. So I guess we do have to go a little further in. You know what, I'll just do this. I don't care anymore. Or butcher both. Both scape rats get butchered. Accidentally zoomed out there. Oh, I think someone's bringing the fecal sludge to here and then changed their mind. Composting is happening. Little story happening here. Resistance dropping a little more. Okay. <clears throat> How's our food situation? We don't have a ton in storage. Okay, these does have been flagged for hunting. We'll also flag some uh, muffalo over here. That's gonna be fine. I think they're on the list to get auto flagged. They probably just didn't get there last time. Uh, let me check. Cause I know, like, yeah, they have an, a, a, an attack risk. Maybe, whoops, maybe I had them turned off because they do have a built-in one. Oh yeah, I do have them turned off, but it's fine. We can auto hunt the muffalo. We haven't seen one in rage in a long time. I think our hunting skill is high enough and the range is big enough that it's not too much of a big deal. Maybe we'll get an actual sniper gun if we can to uh, hunt. Tap, 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 tap. Then we'll have to rebuild the walls that had the jade in them. Okay, let's... Well, it's almost night. Okay, let's let them sleep. And we'll go in the morning. Wow, we're getting a lot of ambrosia sprouts. Holy crap. Maybe because they know... Wasn't Skaverat addicted to ambrosia? I think they were... But that's gone. The problem with banana cabana is they have a chemical fascination, so they're going to be eating all the drugs all the time. Or they're going to be cranky. Yeah, I like the little paths. I like these. They're cute. But yeah, what I want is like an infinite amount of blocks of one type that we can standardize on, and then we're just going to like floor everything. Cut down some of the dirt. Well, just actually um, smoothing on the floor in here would be a huge, huge win. It's a lot of work. Royal Tribute Collector, we're going to ignore you. Okay, 1 a.m. Chemical Fascination Climate Cannibal means he wants to eat chemists. 
Yeah, Banana Command is both a druggie and a cannibal. Uh-huh. We should have like a little secret, like little smoke leaf plant stuff. I don't know, or maybe we'll just plant some here. Yeah, let's start growing some smoke leaf. A boomalope has self-tamed. Ran Dwarf, the boomalope, has self-tamed. Okay, that one is male. I guess they can both be milk for the chem fuel, which makes sense. That's what goes boom. Your lot is female. Oh my god. We can start breeding boomalopes. Which probably means we're going to be selling some boomalopes. <laughs> Or sterilize them. Oh, that's true. You can geld. But no, let's breed them and sell them. Breed attack boomalopes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's morning. Let's go. Let's go out here. Oh yeah, I forgot that we we settled near the steamy round chimpanzee. Um, bandit lair is this one with three tribal enemies. Form caravan. We're gonna go there, and then we're gonna come back. Except, I'm gonna leave Borbra, and I was gonna leave Jay. Interesting, they're not on the list. I wonder if they're having a mayoral meeting. All right, that's fine. We'll bring these five. That seems okay. Bring 10 medicine. We need to bring more food than this. I realize some of it's going to rot, but... And yeah, we do forge every day. That is true. <clears throat> yeah, Barbara and Jay and Peter Antwistle are going to be left behind. And we have guns. In Private Paul, the one in Peg Leg. <sighs> Maybe yes. <laughs> like Moobot with a giant text block. <laughs> oh no, that's the Royal Collector. Never mind. It's not a real trader. I just heard a little squeal. Did something just get slaughtered? I'm thinking yes. What are we hitting here now? Sandstone. All right, we got a lot of different types of material. Need to get a cow for Mubot. You're right. All right, there they go. Have fun storming the castle. Resistance. Oh, it's still taking a while. Still have some fecal sludge. Slowly composting it. How's the septic tank? It's getting pretty full. Um, again, we can get the sewage treatment over here. Large amount of sewage, fast treatment. So we'll just wait for that. <laughs> Best thing for me to be eat someone who's high on drugs is Banana Cabana. The cannibal with chemical fascination. Yeah, that sounds about right. We need, uh, we need more lighting in this room. There you go. That's connected. Is this? Oh, that's my uh, Gruulin seed. Right. Being a dog is pretty sweet. Ooh. Marriage is on! JLS and Barbara! They're gonna get married and share a bedroom finally! Well, good for them. Isn't that swell? Uh, oh, yes. We need some cabinets here. I'm still gonna do this. I like this little, like, work cubby. What does a vegetarian cannibal eat? Wait, uh, could you be a vegetarian cannibal? Huh. I don't know, they eat farmers. So they get married, then everyone leaves. They can save money on catering! <laughs> oh, everyone's gone? Perfect, let's do it right now. 
Human beans and Swedes. Oh, that's what a vegetarian cannibal eats. <laughs> they eat vegetarians. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there you go. You avoid animal cruelty, cruelty, you just eat vegetarians. Okay, the water temp's not staying maxed out. Although it was during night, so it was decaying somewhat. Yeah, this one solar heater seems to be doing the job pretty good. All right, they're back moving again. Yeah, they're probably being slowed down by Private Paula. Oh, well. I mean, Private Paula sounds like someone out of the military, right? Private. So we're going to send them on a raid. That's the only thing that makes sense. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. God, that sushi was so good. I'm still thinking about it. It was delicious. Name is from Full Metal Jacket. Oh, I've actually never seen Full Metal Jacket. I really should. This is a classic film. No one is done. Well, right now we've only got three people total. Um, we do have a few people with crafting turned on, which would be stone cutting, but we may need to change it. Yeah, I know I need to see it. I mean, I've seen so many like references to it. And okay, get ready. Does it pause when they arrive? Okay, good. It did auto pause. Great stuff. All right, we've arrived at the bandit camp. Yeah, spears, bows. Oh, they're coming out to meet us. So we got a Fotino Decay, a Tristam, and I think there was another Private Paula here. Did they just go inside? I think they might have just gone inside. Oh! Bang! Oh, out of range for the shotgunning, eh? No, don't kill me. He's gonna run a little flank. Actually, th yeah, these guys all have shotguns. It's all pretty short range. Ah! Run, Paula. Hopefully you get Doc Villain gets shot a little bit more. Alright, turn back in there. Yes. Stab! Stabby stab! Air's now fleeing. There we go. Okay. Although Private Paula, how badly hurt are you? Um Have some medical stuff. Come on. Rest until healed. There we go. Three self tending. Su Chin, you're gonna go tend. Okay, good. Are you cleaning? Cleaning blood. Wow. Okay. Oh, they'll patch up on the road. So we could just leave. Wow, they uh, they had prisoners in cages. Juno, you're wandering? Cool. Wander oh well, first of all, wander over here. Okay, now... Uh, wait, you can't go inside? Why can you only melee attack the door? There it is. I know we had bed rolls. But I didn't want to like... I would have had to take it out of their inventory, right? Or some stuff like that, which seemed annoying. Sentra Monica. The, uh, Mega... What do they call them? Megatherium. Or Mega Sloths. They used to be Megatheriums. I don't know why they changed the name. Alright, well, we can just pack it up. Um... Take that, take the berries, take the smoke leaf, take the ambrosia. We're not taking dead bodies. A lot of these weapons are kind of shitty and not really worth anything. Well, I don't know, that's fine. Yeah. 
There you go. I think that's that. Okay. Come on home. Payment arrived. Oh, must have already been picked up by one of our great little puppers. And then we'll figure out who to attach that arm onto. Hi, Paul. How badly are you here? Um, I don't know if I can get... Uh... Yeah, just a few cuts and cracks. You're fine. You're fine. Suck it up. You're going to be just okay. No lost limbs. Okay, we got a little bit of food. That's good. That's still running. It's using a power, but that's fine. We got lots of it. We could make use of this space at some point, too. I don't know. Private Paul, four out of ten toes. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Megatherium's for giant sloth. And it probably just came down to people not knowing what a Megatherium is, and they're like, well, we'll just call it a Mega Sloth, because. You know, that's what it is. It's like, all right, I mean, that's fair. But I just like the name. It was cool. Like, if you had asked me what a Megatherium is, I wouldn't I wouldn't know. Oh, the door's supposed to be there, actually. Mm -hmm. Level seven social. Good. Working on that convert that that resistance breakdown. They're gonna be joining us soon. Gotta get these bedrooms sorted. Gene C oh yeah, the puppy Gene C needs a paw. That's true. Company performance reports are based off number of toes. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even supposed to excavate this back hole. It just, it burst through here because of the jade. Any critter sounds better with Megan, its name. That's true. Megadon, that's a thing, right? Is that the, is that the shark? Both, says Mooch. Mooch the pig. Mega pig. Megalodon. That's what it is. I got it, like, mostly right. <laughs> I got it, like, two out of three syllables right or something. Not syllables. <gasps> Inspired recruiting. Barbara. Who do we recruit first? Do we get the hypersensitive sickly one? <laughs> or do we get the chemical fascination cannibal one? Wait, hold on. Scave rat ha oh no, neither one of them have a passion for mining. Both of them are double passion for melee. Both of them are pretty decent candidates for the the power glove. It's so bad. But yeah, the crafter and we could just, well, they both have passion for crafting actually. Maybe we should get the person who's a better doctor first. Oh, yeah, who's got, what's the resistance stat? That's a good idea. 10, 14. There you go. Banana's slightly harder. So, I think we have to wait for the cooldown to expire. Okay, that's JLAS doing it here. Because I think I can force it, but not right now. Might just come down to chance. Sewage treatment research done. I think they have to be awake too? Oh, maybe. Okay, hold on. Hygiene. Hygiene! Sewage treatment plant. It's expensive, but it's gonna be great. We could probably get rid of the, uh, the septic tank later. Dun, 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 dun. Like man, work drive. I could use these buttons more, but I don't know. Come on, wake up. What time is it? It's three o'clock in the afternoon. All right, new caravan's here. Good. I don't know if I can force the prisoners awake. Oh, there we go. Barbara. Prioritize chatting with Banana Cabana. Yeah, we do have someone else with melee skill who's be who might be better as a pick. There you go, Banana, join the party. Okay, excellent. Let's take a look at your work schedule. Uh, do that. Yep. Okay. Leave those are the three. We're gonna turn off the cook. Don't trust the cannibal to cook. It would be nice if we had a second person with cooking passion, though. Grow, plant cut, 
and quite nice of the smith uh, various crafting things. I think I kind of like this sort. The thing is, when we want plants to be happening, I do want them to happen with a fairly high priority. Although at this point, we've got so many people doing it. Like he's got double passion and an eleven. On the other hand, getting someone to just be working on all the crafting, I think I'm going to bring these down. Suppose I could leave the plant cut up. When it's harvest time, harvest as quick as possible. But don't be responsible for planting. Yeah, you'll, you'll be cutting things. But then after that, you're really going to do lots of crafting. That's what you're going to be doing. Chain him to the crafting chair. <laughs> oh, Labrador Retriever starving. The thing is, you have access to the uh, the kibble over here. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Our dogs can go and eat this stuff. Who's got the major break risk? Private Paula. You are in pain. Also, animals keep getting killed. And you're led by a valued employee because you're the wrong religion. Break so we can arrest you. I mean, I can kind of arrest you whenever I want, but... Keep waiting for her to have an actual breakdown so I can justify it. Is there a mod with banana plants? Hey, I bet you there is. Yeah, I think there's like vanilla trees expanded or some shit like that. Oh yeah, let's check the conversion ritual. Um, the problem is it doesn't really, it is available, but it doesn't work on Paula. We really need to arrest her because her loyalty just keeps bouncing back. Although I suppose I could run it just because um, it should give us development points. So we'll give it a try. Complex player. Effective ritual. Well, it took 30 points off. I mean, that's not nothing. We could follow it up with a convert action here. If I can find Private Paula in... Oh, she's down there. 61%. But we've had her this low before, and it, it just bounces back. Okay. Combat suppliers from Hadio. These are people we negotiated with earlier. VGP has banana trees and stuff. Oh, yeah, vegetable garden one. Yes. I've used those mods a lot before. Yeah, lots of the expanded booze making. That's the one that has uh, uh, Quill 18's whiskey. Well, a Manhunter pack of Cougars. Bard Blarney, Two Fang. Two Fang's a good name for a cougar. Lundar and Pickle Mezis. I'm worried about a little caravan here. But they are going to hit our traps. Uh, is that all of them? Oh, all right. Never mind then. And three dead cougars to eat. One rotted instantly from the Scaria, but otherwise. Send her on a corporate retreat for conversion. Low food. Yeah, it's true. Although we've got some meat now. Oh, you need power. So let's take a look at the caravan. Scott bot mate is the leader of the caravan. We can buy medicine, which is probably not a terrible idea. Shells and things. We can sell you. See, oh, it's not worth anything. Jump pack's too expensive. There's our power claw. Oh, let's sell a bunch of these really shitty weapons. We'll make room for other things. Um, actually, even tempted to just sell these off. Just train up to we until we can get some like higher quality. Gladiator. Gladi? Whatever. Um, oh, it's a revolver. I'll sell that. I think I'm going to keep these grenades. There's some decent armor, but I don't know if we're going to do that. And we've got the other shield belt as well. I think we'll just do this. Yeah. 
It's whiskey and chocolate. It's whiskey and chocolate. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Whoa! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Uh, Big Bad Burns, thank you very much. Hello, hello from Glorious Grease Quill. Buy yourself a bottle of Metaxa. Yes, Greek brandy, yes. On me, thanks for the countless hours of game time over the last decade or so. Happy Orthodox Easter to everyone celebrating tomorrow. Oh, is it really? Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you very much. I'm trying to think if I've ever had Metaxa. I see it all the time in the local liquor store. Have I ever had it? I don't know that I have. I would, I would love to say something back to you in Greek, but I know that Greek is one of those very difficult languages to learn. I saw an interesting video on YouTube once about like, you know, hardest languages to learn is like a, you know, second language. And um, at Greek was one of the, one of the ones considered to be the hardest. We even had it once. I think, I think we did have it once. I think we did. I'll have that and I'll have some uh, spinacopita. Mm. Spinach and phyllo, hard to go wrong. Yeah, so we gotta decide what we're doing this shield belt and also the power claw. So yeah, I think I was considering on Private Polyp because she has no passion for shooting. And has double passion for melee. I do like the power claw on the cannibal though, you're right. Which would be Banana Cavana over here. It's not quite as good at melee right now, but still has double passion for it. Keep the claw until the limb gets lost naturally. That's an idea. Oh, look at it. It actually spins around. Oh, how neat. I uses a lot of power. Wow. So if I tell this to drain... Oh, uh, okay, it drains into barrels. I was hoping that we'd like drain it back into this. If I just deconstruct it, what happens? I mean, I guess it's not hurting. This could converts a little faster. So I'd rather this be the priority. So this is a septic tank, the sewage treatment. I think this is just doing the same thing, but faster. This is 500 a day instead of 50 a day. Can I forbid refilling? I don't think there's a button for that. It just feels from the sewage. Now, here's the thing. If I hadn't built these next to each other, I could just disconnect this from the piping. But if I do this, it'll still be connected, but it would be connected through this. And I wonder if this would make this have a priority. Scarecrow 43 has gone mad. It's a muffalo. All right. It's probably gonna die to the traps. Yep. Banana Kamana, you want to finish this off with your melee skill of six? Thanks. Okay, so we disconnected that. The amount it has is going down. Maybe it was always going to go down because the processing is more than we produce in a day. All right, we'll let this get as close to low to zero as possible. I wonder if this stuff just grows so slowly. Wow, it's dying again. Well, some of it's ready to harvest. It's just grow so slowly we've got a problem. Maybe we should just grow this when we get our um, hydroponics, which I have unlocked the tech for hydroponics. Maybe it's time. Oh, this only stays harvestable for a day before it rots. Wow, that's really awkward. I mean, and the thing is we have like plant cut as a number one priority for a lot of people. It's actually really annoying that no one gets to it on time.
<laughs> Watch the wall go up and Juna gets stuck in here. Oh, oh, oh. This, m it's gone mad. Darv Tormund. Pull back, get a better angle. You can do it, April Lease. Hit it again. One more shot. Switch to melee. Oh, you finished it off. Good job, April Lease. Wow. That was the first time one of these Muffalo have gone for revenge. There's a little uh, gap here. I wonder if there's uh, ancient horrors in here. At some point, we're going to do exploratory tunnels in these little bits, but not for now. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, this wall's going up. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna haul the muffalo at some point. We struck Ruby. All right, cool. So let's just build a door here and have like sort of semi-airlock here, but I was just thinking of digging this area out and making this part of the fridge. Although, I guess this way we still sort of have an effective double wall situation here. It's not exactly a double wall, but it's an extended airlock kind of bit. Yeah, maybe that's the better way to do this. We'll see. We can always change it later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But the idea is, from the uh, hydroponics area over here, I want to be able to um, get to the fridge without too much work. So I can actually kind of picture this whole area might get expanded to fridge stuff as well, just to keep it convenient. We'll see. You want to sure you really want to join the, comp the colony? Well, of course. I mean, we have such great um, incentive packages. Yeah, we need to start smoothing here. Oh, there's a hydroponics tech. All right. Santa package one. We won't kill you. Working conditions are great. Well, I mean, actually, we are taking care of our people pretty well. Everyone's got their own private bathroom. That's fantastic. Who wouldn't want to join us? Hospital beds, vitals monitor neck. Oh, that's locked. Oh, I need the multi-analyzer. Hold on. Sterile materials keep going. We need the multi-analyzer. First of all, that's going to increase our tech rate. I probably should have done that a while ago. Whoops. Multi-analyzer. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, we got negative power right now. At night with no wind, even with the geothermal. Wow, that actually surprises me. Maybe it's time for more batteries. Tell you what, I don't know where the batteries are going to end up later on. But for now... Oh man, not enough steel stored. Uh, we do have some gold. We've mined out some gold and I don't think we sold it. I'm pretty sure we have got gold somewhere. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I we have gold somewhere, though. I thought. Right over here. We could go and force someone to go and do that. Yeah, multi-analyzer is quite a bit more extra tech, yeah. it's It researches a lot faster. More batteries, the bigger this is. I suppose that's true. On the other hand, we're going to need the extra power generation if we're... Oh, hello if we're gonna run um, a hydroponics. Because the sun lamp eats so much power. Oh, and selected the sterile tiles. Oh yeah, I did. Although, multi-analyzer first is probably not terrible. Um, into sterile materials, hospital bed, and then we'll have to keep the vitals monitor after that and prep for the hospital. Since we've had a few injuries at this point, I think our stone storage is still pretty full here. So, banana. I was going to say, should be on crafting duties and is. 
Now, they're gonna be doing all the smithing and tailoring and stuff well before the stone crafting. Now, I am running a mod that at makes the uh, stone crafting you a skill, but also generate XP. So theoretically, you want someone who's actually a crafter to do it, but I might just turn on generic crafting for more people. We got a little bit of loving between some of our puppers. Life of the cookie, or our poor puppy with dementia. Not confused again. Oh, poor little thing. Mm -hmm. Helmets, good. Oh, I can cancel the frag grenade, because we've actually grabbed a few. Actually, I'm gonna cancel, unless they're already in progress. life a lot easier, actually. If I make a stockpile zone... We got a heat wave now. Sure, of course. Can we just have some normal freaking weather for a change? Grrr! Okay. All unfinished items can get stored here. It makes it a lot easier to see what work we've got underway. We do have some air conditioners. Hopefully enough. We actually don't have an air-conditioned hospital. Sure, we've got that. Hey, Catfish, thanks for the sub. Ah, remember that prime button? Yeah, baby. And uh, I've been missing a bunch of resubs during the course of the stream. Get too focused on the game. Sparrowhawk resub for 63 months. Malt for three months. Gin Black, seven months. Crumba, 60 months. Five years. Subscription. <whistles> Brug at 21 months. Danreleth, 14. Uh, Morvik Thor at 10 months. Akfalt are 32 months. Oh yeah, power of two, babe. That's great. Uh, Red Little Red Dragon, 29 months. Strong King in two months. You bring Lyden, 52 months. For you bring Lyden, who keeps getting pregnant in this game. What happened? Bedinsis. Bedinsis Revenge. The Muffalo. Again, I do sort of wish that the non-tamed animals didn't have names. On the other hand, it is really entertaining. We have a bunch of Muffalo over here who are probably going to get uh, hunted soon. And by probably, I mean I'm hitting the button to hunt them. So, we keep getting Mufflos named after Essential Monica because I think it, and it, it picks names based on who who have been chatting like relatively recently, and Essential is usually pretty busy. <laughs> keep getting what? You bring light in. You keep getting pregnant all the time, all the time, man. Yeah, one of our very productive pigs. You bring light in. You're a pig. You're an absolute pig. You're this one right here. See? <laughs> I hope the animals are going to be okay in the heat wave. I mean, right 48 degrees. That is deadly. God, that's hot. Heat waves are so hot right now. Tap, 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 tap. It's supposed to be a colony of miners and Juno's doing all the work. But, I mean, you know, need a lot of people doing a lot of different things. Banana working on machine pistol. Yeah, I, I didn't cancel the job because I was pretty sure they uh, they had one underway here. Cancel, cancel, cancel. There we go. Just trying to get through some of this backlog. You're making dusters, which is good. We want our people to be clothed. Mm -hmm. 48 degrees. Oh, it's only 47 now. Raining. 46! I mean, admittedly, it's nighttime. Quest ship down. Oh, no, this is a terrible one! Oh, uh, it sucks! Heat stroke. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that going on. How's our freezer? Well, it's still technically a freezer. It's supposed to be trying to maintain nine, minus nine. It's only sitting at minus one, but it's working. At least people can go here. You know, safe temperature. 29 degrees in there. 21 over here. Out of the bedrooms. Yeah, you're fine. Skaverette, how's your uh, resistance? 2.7. All right. No, we still haven't done the ideology um, quests. I'm just having too much fun with the base building. But we do have a hint about the non-exclosure agreement thing. Making a duster. I think the duster helps with the temperature management as well. The dusters and the cowboy hats. Although everyone's wearing a steel helmet. Which seems like a good idea. Kind of want them to protect their noggins. We have not reformed our ideology yet. I think we do have 10 points. We could start doing it. Now, some of the things cost more. 
than um, than ten. We have nutrient paste dispenser. Oh, we deconstructed it. Yeah, it's gone. We're just cooking properly now. Allow bedroom sharing to save space. We could start doing it for lovers, at the very least. Yeah, sleep together without marriage. Yeah. I mean, that would only affect one couple right now, and currently they are engaged to get married, but that could be something. We could go with the proselytizing, make it easier to convert people. That seems pretty good. I kind of like that idea. I realize we need a couple of things, but I kind of like the idea that we're going to start becoming marketers for our religion. And then we might not even have to worry about doing pre-conversion. Wow, look how quickly Jay can smooth. So sick. I wonder if we could do that now. So I think someone said first you need a meme. Proselyzer. Our duty is spread our belief. Requires one of the precepts. Proselyzing. Okay. If I click on this. I wonder if it's going to auto set that. I wonder. Hold on. If I go back and don't add anything. And I just go next. As, oops. Okay, so is there a proselyze setting already that I could also tweak? These are alphabetical, but I'm guessing. Oh yeah. So you need yeah, you need that meme, but I'm assuming it might add in uh, some level by default, like at, at least occasional by default. Oh, right here. There we go. Sets to frequent. Cool. Okay. Go for it. Yeah, shirts and pants. Company look. I suppose both should be the same. Add human food and it's fun. Um, I don't know if, like, if... I don't know how many points this is costing us. Where's the... Free, free and approved. So anyone can sleep together. Anyone can sleep together and we're happy about it? I think it says that at the bottom. Bottom where? Oh, like if I scroll all the way down here? No. It's like the cost. When you form, I think you can add, remove one mean, modify as many precepts as you like. The physical act of love is a noble thing, no matter who does it with whom. Opinions, plus five, initiated eleven. Doesn't modify the cost, just a flat ten. Flat ten. Now, this would super be convenient. I don't know if it makes sense. I feel like we should have a standardized work um, like setup. Yeah, just make it free. Let's just make it free instead of approved. I think that makes more sense. <laughs> Triple work drive is great. You know, I think we start we have to start cracking down on people of other religions. Maybe not yet. Maybe we'll just start slow. Oh, nutrient paste. Oh, we need transhumanist. Wait, I can just boot, boost research just for free for no reason. Yeah, we need tunneler. Free love, at least tax it. Ha ha ha! Alright, I think I'm good with this. 
Yeah, I, I don't know if this is uh, if the free love is sharing of beds or just woohoo. I don't see a thing for sharing of beds specifically, so I'm hoping this covers it. Okay, right there you go, and that's the next time it's going to cost us 12. Okay, all right. Do I save? Oh, this is save it for like future games. But in theory, Borbora's bed here. There you go. I can have you and Jay share a bed now. Excellent. How do you get points? So it just said on the screen, you get points when you convert people, running rituals. Basically, if you're actively doing religiously things, then, um, then you get points. So I could move Banana Cabana into this room. Or I could have done three. I feel bad that like the newer people get that, but you know what? That was part of the uh, the the employment incentive. We're building these new bedrooms over here, so it'll be fine. I believe you get points for just randomly converting, not just completing the ritual. Cool. But some of the rituals do give you points specifically. Like, I wonder if this... Actually, yeah, leader speech could give us points. Oh shit, let's do that. Speak for a few hours. Yeah, let's do this. Maybe we'll get mood boosts as well. But if we can farm some... Uh, some point it's funny he's not actually reading at the lectern. He's just doing it by one of our urns. But okay. <laughs> Encouraging leader speech. 84%. Well delivered. We got a development point. Awesome. Do we get a mood boost? You're happy to get your button-down shirt, right? Which is our official uniform. Effective conversion. Encouraging speech. Yeah, plus five. Nice. He's reading from there. He's speaking into the arm to get a cool voice. Heat stroke. Heat or ant whistle. Private Paula. Oh yeah, so we're gonna try to continuously harass Private Paula again and again and again and again and again and again until she breaks. <laughs> you know, like good religious people do. You're, you're, you know, be as annoying as possible. Your God demands it. Oh, I'm missing a smooth spots. Smooth spots. Right there. Poke, 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 poke. Are you converted yet? 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 Mm -hmm. Here, I've got some magazines for you to read. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so banana, what you up to? Crafting a mending kit. Good. We need a few of those around. That's okay. Oh. Eating. Are you an <laughs> answering in real life what you're doing? We got ten mending kits there. You're recycling some clothes. There's low quality or dead man's clothes that you're fixing. Blood dragon revenge. Oh, it's another muffalo. Blood dragon. And, and banana commander. April East, run away! There's too many of them! Go, 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 go! <laughs> Eat dead. Oh, right, because you are, uh, you're the cannibal, as in addition to the muffalo. This is a, this is a man-eating muffalo! It makes perfect sense! Ooh, inspired recruitment. We don't need it right now. Oh, that's not true! We still have Skaverat over here. Who's asleep? So I can't do it quite yet. Yeah, you're also a muffalo. No! It's closing in! Keep going, April Lease. We got backup coming. Can you switch to your melee? There you go. All right. How badly hurt are you? Ah, you've just been hud it a couple times. You're fine. Okay.
Yeah, too bad Skaver had to sleep. Hunting at night or in the rain gives penalty to your pawns. Really? It's too bad I can't, like, set an auto toggle for that. It would be really convenient if we could. <laughs> yeah, that's coming along well. But yeah, once we get our hydroponics set up, we could probably turn down the hunting. I mean, we're not carnivores or anything, so we don't specifically need meat. What I could do at that point is stop auto-hunting mufflows, and then we get rid of that risk completely. We'll just keep hunting, like, deer and things that have a 0% chance of going badly. There's not going to be as many of them, but that's going to be okay. Ooh, a little bit of cleaning, that's good. Juno going back to mining. Getting that metal out of there, which we do need for various things. You know what I should really do? Is we should queue up the deep metal miner. Well, let's finish the multi-analyzer first. So that we're not restricted in what tech we can look for. We should probably build the underground radar. I mean, theoretically, there's lots more minerals to be caught, got, gotten in here. What's that? Oh, gift subs. Blood Dragon is gifting a sub. Hey, hey. Is this your way of saying sorry for trying to murder someone? Muffalos don't get combat penalties in the rain or at night, so it's all good. Keeps it even. Heat wave's over. Good. Oak Scaver Rat's awake. Jay... Come over here. Have a chat. Yes! New recruit. Excellent. Okay. Flag that as medical. I think this is going to have to be Skaverat's room for now. Because that's all full. Yeah. Got a clogged sink again. Sinks clog a lot more than toilets. I don't know why. I mean, maybe these are just cheap... These steel basins? Maybe there's something else we can build later that's better. I don't know. Butcher, butcher, butcher. Yeah, we got lots of hay coming in soon. So hopefully that's going to be okay. They've been eating a little bit more hay, so some of the nutrition is growing a little bit more over here. But yeah, we still need to supply it. It'd be nice if this was land where things could grow, but... I was really hoping under the road would be dirt. Oh, yeah, make him kill his pig. That's right. <laughs> Seems so rude. Scave rat meets scave rat. Now kill it. What was that? Oh, those are our mending kits. So, what's banana doing? There you go. You're making us some blocks. Excellent. And you do gain XP for this because of a mod. So this is going to level up your crafting. It's going to use your crafting skill and level up your crafting at the same time. Ambrosia fed pork for extra kick. <laughs> Will the animals eat the ambrosia and get addicted? That's an interesting question, and I think they can get addicted to things. Oh, I didn't actually do Scave Rat's schedule, did I? Oh, doctoring. That's right. Quite enticing there. So you can cook. You can grow. You can craft. I think I'll do... I'll leave on the cooking, because we could really use a second cook. We'll have two people on cooking. You don't have much in the way of skill right now. Hopefully you don't poison anyone. Um, and then the craft. So Scave Rat will cook, then craft. We could set up two cooking tables. Right now there's only one, so they'll sort of fight over it, but that's going to be okay. Okay. All right, good. I'm not... I'm really not feeling like we need more people. Like, I'll, we'll take more, because more means more work happening faster. It's going to be great. But I, I like we've got a little bit of redundancy in a few categories. Banana Commanda says LOL. These two are now sleeping together, and everything is awesome. Keep at least one toast so I don't constantly fall over. <laughs> Private Paula. <laughs> and yeah, we'll, we'll keep trying to hammer at you with conversion rituals. Hopefully, because people are constantly going to be trying to convert you in everyday speech, um... It'll keep your certainty, you know, at least at least balanced. Stop it from regrowing, and then we can move you forward with the rituals, maybe. Eventually, we'll get you to see the proper light. Actually, Juno, I'm going to get you to uh, mine this section over here first, please. Thanks. So we can actually complete this room. Oh, Banana was sitting here. Oh, he's probably eating a meal there. I was like, oh, is he getting a meeting with the mayor, but... Prioritize, prioritize, prioritize. Alright. Uh, 
power. Oh shit, that spot's not the, um, smooth. Which is fine-ish. You have a mess hall? Yeah, we have a mess hall right over here. Entertainment, little table. I want to make the table like position differently or bigger. I mean, this is a closer table for some people, so some people wait here. We might just build a secondary mess hall somewhere in there. Maybe like it could just have a refrigerator and then like some an extra table. The mayor is not a mod, I think. Or is it part of psychology? Maybe it's part of psychology. Maybe I run I run psychology mod all the time, so some things that are part of that, I just assume are part of the base game now. That's probably exactly what it is. Okay, and actually, we're gonna run the power through this room because it's gonna be breach every. Oh, it's part of psychology. Okay. So, do we have the sun lamp? Yes, we do. Great. Now, back in the day, you had to do some really awkward. There's like a very specific designs that you would end up with a hydroponics basins because your pawns couldn't walk through these basins. That is no longer the case anymore. Um, you can absolutely walk through the basins. So the layouts are much, 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 much simpler now. Um, yeah, which is great. So what we're gonna do is I just had a little thingy up there. Do this. Oh, we can have another one here. It's gonna be fine. Now, no matter what, you're gonna waste four tiles with um, that is in range of the lamp that isn't gonna get hydroponics. Better people than me have like figured out, nope, no matter what you do, you're only gonna cram in so many. Um, so we're not gonna freak out about that. But what we are gonna do is I'm just using a slight plan here that leaves gaps there. And there, so it's these two tiles for this design. We have these two tiles and then these two that can't be reached. As far as I know, that's just the way it is. Cause I mean, I could move this over to the right and not have a hole here, but then there'd still be a hole over here that you can't fill and have covered by the land. So what people do, um, I saw in a Reddit thread, is these two spots here, you can leave fire poppers here so that um, if something bad happens over here, the fire gets put out and it saves your plants. And then the other two tiles don't matter, but it's, it seems fairly common to like, you can put a couple of heaters in there. Now we happen to, to, to mine out a square room. Or hell, I can just use uh, radiators. We happen to mine out a square room, but I could have mined out similarly with my stockpiles over here. I could have mined out a roundish room. In this case, like, you know, we wouldn't have this dead space and that, that, that one spot becomes a great spot for the heater. But we might just use the radiator here. It'll be more power efficient. I think is the gain from the radiators. So I'll put a couple and we'll just have to make sure we're running some pipes over here. Before you commit to hydroponics, consider that the only food crops available for them is rice, which grows in two again. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna necessarily use them all for food crops. I'm probably gonna use some of it for other things. But yeah, I think there's a mod that adds like, cause, okay, rice, cause you don't wanna grow potatoes because potatoes don't take advantage of fertility very much. And no, you don't need a ton of temper control under the mountain. We do need some, but it's not really all that bad. Mm -hmm. Can't grow human flesh in hydroponics. Banana's very concerned about this. Got his priorities straight anyway. It's important. I'm gonna build some more wooden doors here, saving some steel for now. And what I'll probably do is later on, I'll just wall this off to make other room structures. You should mod it to require water for hydroponics. That does make sense, actually. Dubs Hygiene can tweak the uh, hydroponics to require water. Oh, we're running pipes in here. We can pretend that it's for the hydroponic basins. Other is one, yeah, I don't know. Probably after we get like the deep miners to consistently produce metal. Because otherwise I'm worried about running out for some of our projects here. 
So yeah, we're mining out the space for the second hydroponics bay, but it's not actually that critical. What we need, Jay, is for you to come... Oh, we don't have steel. Jesus. Well, we still have some steel being planned to mine. I guess I could cancel this. No, I don't know. I'll leave it there. We'll do that. I think there's some more over here. And at some point, we can recycle our walls. Just change them to stone blocks. Especially now that the stone block production is kind of coming up here. Oh, uranium ore over here. You know what? Screw it. The flag is to be mine now. That's fine. Might be time to do exploratory tunnels. I thought, oh, now there's some more exposed steel here. A little hard to see at night. That might be all the exposed steel we know about. And there's our gold here for our multi-analyzer. We might just manually set someone to do that. I suppose I could have set the manager to automatically set, like, steel mining jobs when you get below a certain amount. Oh, that's true! I can select similar on the entire map. That's a good point. Although, that's only going to do things that are already visible, I think, but still. Ooh, combat supplier. Barbara, let's give him a ring. Are we almost out of components, too? Jeez. I should probably stop making Gladi Gladius. Or, you know, I just won't sell it. Oh, jeez, it's after four? Oh, my God. Yeah, I gotta wrap it up shortly. Because I gotta do recordings tomorrow for some stuff. And then we got the stream Monday for Kerbal. Tuesday, there's more recordings I have to do. Wednesday, like, like do really badly. I gotta record, I gotta try to record like eight things a day. And then Wednesday, we gotta stream. Thursday, we gotta stream. And the next Saturday, more Rimworld. Monday's Kerbal. Wednesday's Galactic Civilization. Thursday is Surviving Mars. And the next Saturday, more Rimworld. It's, um, I'm really void worried about my voice. Because I'm going to have to do, a, like, a lot of bulk recordings each day. I'm really concerned. Um, I'm a little bit behind because yesterday I was only able to record um, a, a couple of things. It was it, it was a different format, so it, it took longer. But in the end, I only got a couple of videos out of it. Uh, it's it's uh, Surviving surviving Mars sponsored content stuff, which I'm excited about. But I, like, and then I just had to stop because I had no voice. So I'm going to try to shut up for the rest of the day. So that hopefully tomorrow... And the rest of the week, I'm going to be okay. But yeah, trying to balance all that out can be tricksy. <laughs> no, I haven't tried Terraformers yet. I really want to. I really want to. Okay, these are coming up. I suppose I could cancel some of these. You know what? The ones that aren't built yet, I will actually cancel you. Because yeah, that's where all our components are going away. So I can grow Nutrifungus, but we're not happy about eating that yet. What's fiber corn? Oh, is that for cloth? Wood-like substance. Ah. Yeah, so it is going to be rice. Hmm. Oh, and we're just waiting for this one component. Hold on. I just want to do this first. Work in this little conduit over here, please. Because that should get power in here. There we go. And at least get these things running. Although, I also need to get this light finished. Oh, right. And the light works on a day-night cycle. But, I don't know. Fabricorn is bad. You only get like two. Yeah, well, I mean, if we're on the map where you were desperate for wood, clearly that's not the case here. We have tons of wood. And yeah, at least we're getting some blocks. We got lots of slate again here, so that's great. What I'll probably do is just replace a bunch of the steel walls with slate. Um, I have the replace mod, which keeps it, or, you know, slate, or any material we might have. Right, if I do this, it'll deconstruct the wall and build the new one without having me to micromanage all that, and that'll give us our steel back 
which is good because apparently we could use a little bit more of that. Use text to voice, save your voice. All right, we're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, Kiss for Luck should be streaming her multiplayer today, probably starting, I suspect, with Among Us. Yep, that is the case. We're gonna raid that channel. I'm gonna see you guys on Monday for Kerbal Space Program. Thanks a lot, everyone. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.